it, pursue it. Hit it, run. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you. Let's start saying hi to the chat, and then we're going to get on to the sellers. BTK Comics, thank you for hitting that like button. We greatly appreciate you. Strictly Comics, obviously, thank you guys for being here. Uh, make sure you guys say hi to us in the chat, and tell us what you're looking for, guys. David Reese, good to see you. You're always one of the first ones. We appreciate you. Patrick Kelly, I hope you're doing well tonight. Weapon X, what's up, you bum? Good to see you. Steven Spock, always good to see you. What's up? Uh, Doc Cup, hey, how are you? David Brewer, I hope you're doing good tonight. Hope Matt, or uh, hope the pup's doing good as well. Steve, what's up? How are you? Troll Fire, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Michael, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. Enchanted mm -hmm. Comics, how are you? Boss, let's keep it clean tonight. Just fair warning, Big Boss. Cat60 is not here, so you cannot troll him. Marianne, what's up? Good to see you. Mr. Collector, you pepper bun, what's up? Good to see ya. MT, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Uh, Kelly Comics, always good to see you. How are you? All right. Well, you guys, it's 
thank you for all for being here. If you guys haven't, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. We're going to start the show off. Let's introduce our panel. Let's see here. First off, we got this guy. I bought these really cute little star pattern post-it notes. And I like them so much, I don't want to waste them by putting them on anything. So I'm just going to keep them and hold on to them. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the world's greatest comic book auction on the YouTubes. The affordable auction where the prices are affordable for you. You, you. Thanks for coming out, everybody. <laughs> just so you know, this is your first round giveaway. That whole slab? No, it's, it's a spot on the waffle, not the oh. slab. slab. <laughs> just a spot. Okay, calm down, everybody. It's just a spot on the waffle. There's five spots left, and you'll get one of them. All you have to do is purchase something in round one, and then win, and you'll get With a the spot. Dumper. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Drop a right. thumbs up and and hit the comments with what you're looking for, or do that in reverse. And we'll see you. I got All something right. awesome for my first round. Barb, you paid attention to my Instagram. I gave you a hint of what it was. Well, there you guys go. But Thank only four people liked both the posts I did, so I don't think anybody is paying attention to me. Everybody's sleeping. I'm sorry. What, Barb? Did you say You'll something? See. What? You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Wait, can you hear me? Uh, am, I, uh, am I lost? We lost him. <laughs> What's up, Felix? <laughs> rookie! Rookie! Oh. Hey, rookie! Rookie! Hey, rookie! Hey, rookie. Hey, rookie. Hey, rookie. Hey, hear what you were saying. <laughs> I said, welcome everybody to the Tuesday show, the affordable auction. Uh, it was better. It was, was better when you were muted. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so my comic book expo is still going on Saturday, Saturday, April 27th, downtown Paso Robles. So we got a lot of good show, a lot of good books. So stay tuned. All right, Felix. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Thank you. Let's go on over to this guy. What's up? Are you? We got some big boy books coming out tonight, so stick around. Um, I love coming out here. I had a great day at golf, so it's going to be an advantage to you guys because I'm in a great mood and I'm drinking. So, bit away. <laughs> I'll join in a little bit. All right. Well, thank you, Doc. We appreciate you. And let's move it on over to this guy. We haven't seen him forever. He's been MIA. Let's welcome Michael. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, the return after a long hiatus. I'm very happy to be on. Thanks for having me. Um, school year's starting to wind down. I'm having some more time to dedicate to the hobby that I love. And uh, I've gathered quite, uh, quite the inventory in the meantime. So hoping you guys like what we have to put up tonight. Let's have a great show. All right. Well, thank you for being here. We have welcome to the comeback. So... Thank you. All right. Let's move it on over to this guy. Is he sleeping? Curtis. <laughs> the guy who loves Tuesday so much. Uncle Roman. Yeah, oh, a the Tigers are going to lose. Hey, yo, Craig, <laughs> I need to buy your car right quick. Looks like your Lions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, he's here. Or it might not be. We'll see. We're going to move it on over to this guy. What's up, you bum? <laughs> oh. No, he's, I'm just he's as loud as Roman is. Right? I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? How we doing? <laughs> um, I didn't want Roman to upstage me, so I stole a little bit of his silence. Uh, welcome to the auction, my friends. It's Tuesday night. Let's have some fun. It's great to have Michael V back in the house. Uh, guys, if y'all are new and haven't seen Michael before, he is eminently trustworthy, has been with us for years off and on, um, yeah. usually has some really great books and some really great prices. So stick around, find out what we got. Do your thing, T. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys, for being here. We appreciate you. Let's get off. Let's start. Oh, are we Let's ready go. to start? We're ready to roll. Okay. 
So just so you know, I have bought comics from everybody on this panel at one time or another. And yeah. if, if I buy from them and I say that they're good, you listen, they're good. <laughs> and all these guys are good. So don't be Thank scared you. to buy comics from anybody. And I'm all hopped up on Tootsie Rolls, so I wouldn't lie. Okay, so I already talked about my waffle. I got this here, $5 a spot. There's five spots left. And we can run it tonight with Phil's. It's uh, New Mutants 18. It's an 8.0 white pages, newsstand. And it does have some pressable defects if you're into that. But, you know, it, it's an 8.0. It is what it is. First appearance of Demon Bear, even though it doesn't say it. <laughs> First full appearance of Demon Bear. That's why I bought it. Um, I'm going to show a couple buy it nows real quick. And then get into this auction. So... First book up, buy it now, five bucks. This is Batman number 685. It's a near mint minus. Alex Ross Catwoman cover. Pretty nice, pretty groovy. If you like that kind of thing. Um, here's a Thor number four. This is the J. Scott Campbell variant. This is the book where uh, Loki comes, becomes a woman. He, he get, goes for the old snip snip. Uh, it's a VF Plus copy. You got it for five bucks. Anybody's interested? You can get some J. Scott. Five bucks. Get it. Next up, X Men Annual number seventeen. This is one of them hot books. I got this at a near mint or better. It's never been read. Solid. Well, is that the right side? That's not the right side. You don't want to see that side. You want to see this side. So perfect. No spine ticks. No focus. Square bound book. It's got sharp corners. It's not polybagged still, but you can't read it if it's polybagged anyway. Um, near men are better. I got 10 bucks on this, but if you think that's too much, make me an offer and I'll probably take it. Let's see. TS, yes, you said you want the Catwoman. Gotcha, buddy. I like the executioner's appearance on the show. I thought it was pretty good. Is it on the show? On X Men ninety seven, yeah, he made an oh, appearance okay. on in episode two, I believe, or three. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. This is a Power Girl number one, Adam Hughes cover. Got this at a VF near Mint for ten, like, for twenty bucks, not ten bucks. I'm sorry. You can get all of that all up in your face. You can wear it if you want to. Twenty bucks. A dollar, a ten dollars a piece. Uh, this is the. Uh, <laughs> Local comic shop day variant for Invincible number one, gold foil. You see all that shininess there. Near Mint Plus never been opened. I bought this. It went straight in the bag and board. It's never been touched. I got twenty bucks on this. If you're interested and you don't want to pay that? Make me an offer. Make me an offer if you're interested and you think my prices are too high. I'm not going to get mad at you, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'll take it either. Here's a Critters number one. Early Isagi Ojimbo. Uh, this is a fine plus copy for $25. It does have pressable defects if you're into that. I've, none of this stuff has been you know, pressed or cleaned or anything. Here's a uh, Star Wars number two. First print. I got this at a VG fine. And it is $50. First appearance, Obi-Wan, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and Greedo. It, it actually says Greedo. Like... That's special. <laughs> and the first time you see the Millennium Falcon. Look it up. 50 bucks. It's not a bad deal. This is the last one. This is the gold foil variant for X-Men Alpha, right? Yeah. Near men are better. I looked this book over really good, and I couldn't really find anything wrong with it. Um, so I just said near men are better. It's probably near men plus. It's definitely a book that you should get graded. I got it at 100 bucks. These things at 9.8 sell for over $300. So if you're interested, you want to make some money, and you do pressing and all that grading and stuff, it's a good opportunity. I, I couldn't believe I found that thing in a freaking collection. Eric, okay. Hill, Eric Hill's asking if you'd take 18 for the PG. Not sure which one that is. PG. Power, Power Girl. Girl. Power Girl. Yeah, why not? Ray, pick up. Here you go. I'll buy that for a dollar. Eric Hill, I better write this down because I'm going to forget. <laughs> so 
So my auction's gonna start at one dollar. I got you, Eric. And that was TSCS that got the other book, right? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. So I hinted on my Instagram that I was going to put up a hard find hip hop book. And I keep my promises. You've probably never seen this comic book in your life before. This is uh, Freddie Fox's. Bumpy Knuckles, Industry Shakedown, number one. If you know hip-hop, you may know Bumpy Knuckles, but this is uh, this comic can only be got if you buy the album that has the comic inserted in it. Couldn't find any comps for it because there literally weren't any for sale on eBay. There was one record. It showed everything in there, but it hadn't sold yet, and they were asking like 100 some bucks for it. It was something stupid. I got this at a fine minus. So it's not a high grade copy, but it is a very hard book to find. Hasn't been pressed or anything yet. I figure starting at a buck, you know, it'll go where it goes. <laughs> there you go though, Bumpy Knuckles, number one. I don't have the record. All I got was the comic book. <laughs> so is Bumpy Knuckles like actually the artist? Yeah, that's the the rapper's name is Bumpy Knuckles. Oh wow! Okay. You can look it up. You can find all kinds of Bumpy Knuckle albums. You can find old cassettes. <laughs> but uh, I didn't have much luck finding the comic book, and it's definitely not going to be in Key Collector. I looked there first, <laughs> but uh, I had another hip hop book that I had found that came in a record a while back. And same thing with that. Like they're so, they're so rare. Um, a lot of record people don't care about comics, so they don't care what if the comics even in there or whatever. But uh, you can't put a spin on them. <laughs> Freddie Fox, yeah. I guess maybe that's the name of him. Maybe, maybe Bumpy Knuckles is like his pseudo alternative person like Slim Shady, but I don't know. Here you go. I'll show you up close and personal light. I can show you this is why it's graded as low as it is because it has some really big spine ticks on it. All the way down. There I go. Oh, what's up, Mary? You're bummed to get to you. Yeah, so you can see it's definitely not been taken very good care of. But it is all there. It's all attached. Everything is is there. That's why it's a fine minus. No better than that. You're not gonna. You're probably not gonna get it any better than a fine. If you press it, you might be able to make it a fine just by flattening everything out, but. Freaking camera is stupid. I just hold it up here. Focus! Focus! I quit. Right? Alright, guys, this is only a dollar right now, y'all. Nobody's bidding. Yeah, it's. it's Freaking stupid blurry is what it is. There. One dollar. Nobody's into it for a dollar. I mean, we already been through three and a half minutes now, so it doesn't look like anybody's interested. Which is fine. I don't really care. I'll keep it. But my arm's getting tired. <laughs> PSK came in for a dollar. I mean, why not? Oh, it's, a know, music, this, it's, it's a music, music comic. Yes, it's always. Man. No, I don't have any Pup Daddy. I just have Bumpy Knuckles. Pup Daddy has Bumpy Knuckles too right now. Sounds <laughs> like a personal problem. 
I don't go down for no P. Diddy parties over here. More, more money, more problems. What demographic it should appeal to? I would say comic book collectors who like hip hop. Maybe. Unless I'm wrong and Bumpy Knuckles isn't a hip hop artist, even though I'm pretty sure he is. Maybe he's a country singer. Watch it be a yodeler. <laughs> Yeah, I got some of those VHSs sealed behind me. All right, guys, we got about 20 seconds left. Oh, the Brewers in two. Oh, he's going to make me hold this even longer now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to see the back of it? I can show you the back of it. Because we've been going under there's overtime. There's anything interesting at all about the back of it. I don't think there is. Oh, there's like a picture of his face. There we go. Oh, what time? Start that clock. Three dollars, final bid. I can read it to you while we're doing this. Yeah, yeah would you? No, because I can't really read too well. I just look at the pictures. That's why I'm so into comic books. You can just oh. follow along the pictures and pretty much get the gist. Oh, okay. You know, the gist. Mm -hmm. Duke David Brewer, you're going to take it down? You're going to let him have it for $3? Or you're going to drop a hammer and say, hell no. Right? That FB means, fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> there you go. PSK, you got it for 3 bucks, buddy. Where'd my marker go? All right. Go ahead and drop there. that in line. Three dollar. Don't forget the waffle. Five bucks yeah. a spot. Five spots left. But you Where know who's gonna have a chance to win it for free is PSK. He's gonna get a chance. You know what? PS, PSCS. Let's give away two. Let's give away two spots really quick before we jump to the next seller. What do you think, Barb? If you want to, it's up to you. Sure. You guys got thirty seconds to get in this. this this. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and draw it. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Let's go. Crack that whip. Crack that whip. Get a little faster, y'all. Let's go. I know it's a really exciting slab. <laughs> I actually like Demon Bear, and I actually really like the Sinkevich art on that cover. It's a good one. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You must whip it. Anthony Kirby Anthony gets Kirby. All right. Here comes another one. Ready? Yes, yes, gets another spot. Yes, yes. All right. All right. So then we're going to jump on over to this bum. What you got? And I'm not muted this time. <laughs> First of all, um, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Um, Iman Winkle. He just brought out his new book. So tonight I got a couple of them with his signature and he did a remark on it. So if you guys want to support a local artist, it's a new company called Magma. You guys can see it. It was the first book they came out with. So pretty neat. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw this book in with the, with, with the remark. Give me a $1 start. All right. Uh-oh. Steven Spot. All right, here we go. These are all low grade reader copies. So here's Transformers. I think, what is this? 24. Uh, the death of Optimus Prime in the video game back in the day. If you guys haven't read it, pretty neat. Here's one of the little classic ones with the wraparound embroidered. Here's another one. And the Transformers. I think this is uh, 21. 
14. 13. 13. Here's the first appearance of Jetfire. 11. Here's the first appearance of the Constructicons or Devastator. And the number one. Whoa. I'm surprised nobody's bidding on this already. For a <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet. So low grade, they're low grade readers, but it's all there. It, and this is the first print. I think someone put a, a little sticker on the cover. Put like a little sticker, but like I said, one dollar start for the whole thing. These are all in. All in. We'll start off with the bang. Yes, it's like I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, Transformers number one. The death of Optimus in the in the Sega Genesis right there. Here's the, I think this is the, what you call it? Mm, anniversary, I guess, cover. Still pretty nice. All new stands too, so. There's Megatron into a gun. On Musies, here's Jetfire right there. Oh, Musies. Like I said, they're low grade, but low grade is better than no grade. What's up, Pearson? My Canadian brother. And here's Devastator. Constructed cons. And then there's the man right there. Let's go, people. I know you're not gonna take this guy with no wife that just went golfing all day and drinking beers. Take this down <laughs> for five dollars. <laughs> I know a good deal when I see one. Right? Five dollars? That's easy. That's a no-brainer. Yes, sir, Pearson. Still doing it, man. Still doing it. It is the whole lot. Yes. The whole thing. All the books, he's getting it for less than a dollar a piece right now. Doc Ops beers are uh, tasting mighty tasty right now. Uh -huh. No one bidding. No one bidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Collector came in right before you, Tetra. Mr. Collector, what's going on, buddy? Such a bum, such a bum. Such a bum. Mm-hmm. Him and his Frankie Valens hair. I know, right? <laughs> Frankie Valens. <laughs> Little bomba hair. I haven't heard that one. Not even Mr. Mr. Collector be like Mr. V Del so soon. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing too bad. Cool cat, cool call. cat. Start calling him Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> Richie! <laughs> no, my Richie! Oh, man. Classic, a... classic movie. It wouldn't be the first, and it wouldn't be the last. Oh, man. All the references from La Bamba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, my abuelita's house, it was either that or Selena was on all the time. Oh, my God. In the night train. <laughs> You're shaking your little bitty bitty bonbons over there or what? You were driving your little carcancha? <laughs> we got Tetranova in at 20. We got less than a minute left. Depper bump, what you going to do? Yes, and and with the lot, I'm gonna throw in the new this new uh, mag, uh, new magma number one, 
signed by the uh, the artist himself right there and it has a little sketch so this is going to go in with the with this purchase Ooh. support local artists there you guys go you heard it mt wants to know the estimated grade on number one. Oh, mt you don't need this you're not interested <laughs> you want the real one you want the i'm gonna pre-screen it for 99. <laughs> <laughs> It's a reader's copy, bro. I, I'm taking up two, a two o. You can see a little. I said two o. Two and a, two and a half, maybe. But like I said, with all this, he did say it was a first print. Yes. Yes, it is a first print. Yep. All right, guys, we're gonna go into overtime. Here we go. We got Raphael in at twenty two right now. Tetra. No, Richie. Come on, man. Transformers is a classic. All right. Tetra Nova's back at 25. That's going to reset that clock again. Yeah, I'll give them a, I'll give them some TLC before you guys get them. So they'll look a little nicer. But I mean, for a buck, for the whole series, not too bad. You got a lot of first appearances. You got the Death of Ultimate. Is number, number five, five in there. I don't, no, I don't think so. No, I didn't think I saw it. Yeah, I actually like number, I think number two. What's the one with Spider-Man? Spider-Man's not in Transformers. Yeah, he is. Is he? Yeah, he's in the cover. He's a, he's wearing the black suit and he's tying up uh, Megatron. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. MT yeah. says he sure is. Yeah, and it's in a... The yellow cover. It's pretty neat. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look. Yeah, All it's right, pretty neat. Nice. Looks like Tetra Nova is going to take this one for $25. Going to go ahead and drop the end line here. There it comes. Oh, well, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Hey, look. I I'm, I don't know everything about comics. Just saying. So. And I'll admit it. I'll be the first one to admit it. Hey, so. punch no mommy's way. No mom has way. <laughs> All right. Petra Nova's going to get it. There we go. $25. Congrats. And I'm throwing Congrats. in this one. So congratulations, bro. <laughs> You're lucky MT didn't sit on this one or sit. He's like, I'll sit this one out. All right, Tetra. You got it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Felix. We appreciate you. We're going to move Thank it you. on over to this guy. What's up? Fuck. All right. Hey, congratulations. That was a great pickup. Um, so I got a waffle today. Uh, last week we got rid of uh, we got rid of Moon Knight number one. Uh, Doyle Daniels won that. Congratulations if you're out there. This week's waffle is two slabs. We got an 8.0 white pages Marvel Spider Lab number 12. This is the origin of Son of, Son of Satan. It's an 8.0, and you have Son of Satan number one and 9.2 white pages. Both of these slabs is going to be 15 spots, $10 a spot. All right. So they're both great. They're both fair market value at a little over $200 for both of them. So if you're interested in a waffle, let me know. For both of those, that's both of them come together. That's shipped. All right. We got some interesting first appearances. I'm going to do some buy it nows. We got a 7.5 white pages first appearance of Man Wolf. It's a big book. This is 175 buy it now. Again, 7.5 CGC white pages first appearance of Man Wolf. And we have a first appearance of Brother Voodoo. 7.0 white pages. Excuse me, off white pages. And this is a $200 buy it now. We have some raw books as well. So we have a Marvel Super Action number 35. And this is a reprint of the Silver Age Avengers number 74. 
Okay, and both of these books, this is uh, the, the, the Silver Age, the 74 Silver Age is a 7.0 copy. I'll give you a spine slide, it's pretty nice. Again, you get both of these and the buy it now is $40 for the pair. And then I'm going to do a, uh, what do you call it again? A pick em? A winner's choice. A winner's choice. All right. All right. Starting at $5, you got a winner's choice of Aliens vs. Predators number one, high grade. Aliens vs. Predator number two, again, high grade. You got a X-Men number one. This is the uh, U Premier two per store copy. Then you have a Joe Jusco Marvel's Masterpiece with Ghost Rider, again, high grade. You have an Alex Ross cover of Submariner, again, high grade. And the last one is Magneto Zero, again, all high grade. And this is starting at $5, winner's choice. All right, there we go. Five dollars winner's choice, guys. Eric Hill says he'll bid five bucks. Eric will be my Huckleberry. There you go. I love this Magneto Zero cover. I think I think I paid like thirty dollars for this book when it first came out because it was the two per store. Yeah, that Alex Ross book doesn't go for five dollars either, guys. No. Sleep on that. Try to find these masterpiece books; they're not easy to find. David Brewer says, "All oh, good six. Thank you, David. And this is a big book. Let me give you a spine slide because it's in really good shape. It's got sharp oh. corners. So I learned something about Dark Horse the other day, and that's their their publishing is actually in Portland, Oregon. So I'm gonna have to uh, run down there and check them out. This is a nice cover. They have the Predator, Aliens vs. Predator number two. Right, guys, we got about three minutes. Is anybody gonna challenge, or are we just gonna sit here for three minutes and look pretty guys? While we do that, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. We can get it to uh, let's see where are we at? Now, if we can get it to 50 likes, you know, we'll I'll do another spot on his. Well, I'll do a spot on his waffle. Let's break the ice. Since nobody else is interested on the waffle. Let's do it, guys. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Check out these great books Doc has. He always has some phenomenal books. I'm going to be breaking out some silver and bronze raw. I got some really nice slabs. Um, again, some silver, some copper, some bronze. Most uh, all, all the key key copies, so they'll be coming out later. All right, we got Eric Hill in it. 
He said, I want first choice. You ever watch those uh, uh, Alex Ross YouTube uh, channels where he's actually oh. demonstration is painting and stuff? He's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to look it up. All right, guys, we've got about a minute left. Is anybody else interested in this lot besides Eric and David Brewer here? Again, this is a winner's choice. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds to go. And again, for those who didn't see, got where are they waffle is you get both of these slabs uh son of satan number one 9.2 white pages tgc and uh, excuse me off white pit oh, no white pages and an 8.0 white pages Sun, uh, marvel spotlight which is the origin first origin of son of satan the key, they're both key books. Both of them are uh, $10 a spot. There's 15 total spots. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, Aaron Hill gets the bid for $7. So he's going to take C and E as an Edward. All right. C and E. You got it. That looks like David Brewer is going to take your D. David is taking up, taking D. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Anybody, Anybody else? In the Predators or no? Okay. I thank everybody very much. See you next round. All right. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate you. We're going to move it on over to this guy. I don't know if he's here. Oh, he is. There we go. Sorry, I had to... Uh, I popped out really quick the Joker sequel uh, trailer just got posted about like 20 minutes ago. Oh, dang. So, yeah. So, it the trailer looks awesome. And it's pretty timely because my first lot's going to be a uh, Harley lot. So, anyway. Uh, we'll start with some buy it nows. I have uh, Web of Spider-Man number 70. This is first appearance of Spider-Hulk. Got $10 right now on that. I have uh, Spider-Man Marvel Mangaverse, or Mangaverse number one. This is first appearance of Manga Spider-Man. $15 no buy it now on that. Um, these are reader copies. Um, just to preface this before you see, um, we have Ultimate uh, Comic Spider-Man 1, 2, and I'm throwing in Issue 6 in there, uh, $25. That's why the price is what it is. These are not high-grade copies. They are definitely readers. So $25. Buy it now for all three of those books. Um, next buy it now, I have a New 52 newsstand lot of Swamp Thing, um, $10, you get issue one, issue two, and issue four, and again, these are all 
newsstands from 2011. $10, buy it now on that. Um, I have X-Men Adventures Issue 1 and Issue 2. Issue 1 is the direct. Oh. Issue 2 is a newsstand, definitely a reader's copy of Issue 2. Uh, $15 for both of those. Uh, buy it now. And of course, all these are or best offer. Pepper Bomb's going to take your miles. Look. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I like his miles, Steph. Mm -hmm. um, Secret Society of Supervillains, their first appearance. Um, Do you $10? Buy it now on that. Super Friends, issue one. First appearance of Wendy, Marvin, and Wonder Dog. Do you $25? Buy it now on that. And then we'll go ahead and go to my auction lot. Uh, we'll do dollar start, but it is a builder. Um, this is Harley's original run. So we have Harley Quinn number nine. Uh, Terry Dodson cover. Also with her pet hyenas. And we're going to start this at a dollar. Next book will come in at $15. And the next book would be issue 20. What's up, Punch? Good to see ya. He said, is that Michael V from the Beastie Boys? <laughs> G Spine Club? <laughs> All these are very high grade copies. I, I know, David, but I can't beg either. So, uh, it's against it's against the rules. One dollar. All right. Uh, well, excuse me. It's against my rules. How's that? So the next book comes in at what do you say? 15? Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen yep. for issue number twenty. So if yes. You are interested? What is up, have... Comics Planet? I hope you're doing well tonight. Good to see you, dude. I got technically six more books that could come in, but if we're not feeling original Harley Quinn run today, that's all right. Oh, I forgot to put the timer up. I'm going to put the three-minute timer up. Sorry. My bad. It's all right. I'm sleeping. Great. Good to hear it. All right, we got TSCS in the lead for a dollar. Anybody going to challenge him for some old, for some original Harley Quinn run here? $15 brings in the next book, guys. Everybody's quiet. Nobody's talking. Nobody likes Harley. That's okay. That's not true. There's tons of people <laughs> that like Harley. I think, I think Dapper Bum's a closet Harley person, too. So. He just doesn't want to admit it. No, Mr. Collector, I don't. And none of them are newsstands, so I didn't figure you'd go for them. So, David Brewer, I, I love Harley, and I also love Wonder Woman. I already I already grabbed some books from Michael before the show. So just that is true. Out. Yes. So. <clears throat> I know. I know. I know. I'm a DC guy. Me too. Well, not a guy, but 
DC person. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Right? I mean, everybody has their thing. Do I have these? No, I don't think I do, but that's okay. Oh, Mr. Yep. Collector with the hammer. Oh, shoot. Oh, Mr. Brewer wants to bring in the next book. Yeah. All right, so All right. issue number 20, another Terry Dodson cover, and especially for a black cover, it's very difficult to get it in this high grade, but it is a beautiful book. Yeah, these are very high grade. Uh, another five dollars. We'll bring in uh, number twenty-five. This is a Rousseau cover, so the actual artist, not a Terry Dodson, but a Joker just having a rough fantasy there. So twenty dollars will bring that one in. Oh, okay. So that one is brought in. Um, if we get to 30, we will bring in uh, number 32. This is the first cover appearance of Harley not in costume. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, another $10. So $30 will bring that one in. Ooh. As of right now, we have these three books. And I have... I have original Harley run keys all the way to the last issue. If we want to keep building the lot. These are all very high grade minty books. But yeah, never really thought of that key until, you know, you look at it first cover without her costume on. All right, guys, we are got 10 seconds left. $30 brings in that next book, guys. All right, going to go ahead and drop that end line. There we go. Fair warning for everybody because, yeah, fair warning. <laughs> there we come. To allow for leg. All right. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Um, uh, it's email interested. only. Oh, that's fine. Um, my email. So my PayPal that's going on the ticker. That is my email. So if you want to hit me up an email, we can discuss if you want to get the whole lot or Teresa might want the rest. Who knows? You never know. But, <clears throat> but the rest of it was first cover without a costume. Um, this was the, uh, oh, this was the second to last issue, and then the final issue, and then I was, if we were going to make it all the way through, I was going to throw this one in. This is the first collaboration of Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti on Harley Quinn before their new 52 run, signed by both of them, but wow. if, if we would have made it, but that's all right. I appreciate it, guys, and uh, get this, keep this thing going. All right. Thank you, Michael. We appreciate you being back. Looking Thank forward you. to the next lot you got. All right. We're going to move it on over to this guy. Is he awake? Mr. Roman Curtis, are you <laughs> awake? Are you there? There we go. What you got for us tonight? Nothing. Nothing. A, che nothing. a cheery face. Can you see how cheery I am? I know. 
Boy, it I'm, I'm overflowing with joy. <laughs> I need a starting bid of twenty-five dollars. All right. Please. You got it. Thank you so much. All right. I put my face on this earlier, so you know I was here, but you didn't see it. So <laughs> I was hoping to see it. I put it on that last round, so you know I was here. I woke up at eight, at eight, at eight thirty-six. <laughs> I woke up at eight thirty-six just in time. No alarm clock either. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> no alarm clock either. Man, that was some good sleep. I'm telling you, I want to go back in there and go back to sleep. <laughs> but I have to come here to get the guys a break. I come here to get the guys a break. And sell a couple of books so y'all can get something out of it. Uh, I started off with $25. I got five loots. I just got too many Mark Jewelers. So it's Mark Jewelers it's it's five Mark Jewelers, all mid-grade. Yeah, all mid-grade. We consider them all five. And some of them are from our favorite man, Mr. Price. So first off, it's not Mr. Price's book, but it is Raven the Bold issue. Okay, let me get my eyes together, y'all. You know, one fifty nine. Raven the Bold one fifty nine. It's a Ross Agul, Master of Assassins, and Batman team up. Raven the Bold one fifty nine. That's a no brainer, guys. DC Mark Jewelers are harder, very hard to find. Right here, we got Comics Presents. We got Superman and Shazam. How about the picture looking? Ah, uh, you know. Still the same? It, it's a, yeah. Uh, I thought we picked some of it. I had to go in there. I had, it's got to, the computer has to be cleaned out. It hasn't been cleaned out in four years, so it needs to be defragged. Temporary files, cookies from four years ago, all kind of stuff going on. But we found that out. And I got too What's much up, going on. I got too much going on right now. Let's see if we can take all the stuff in the back. Oops, oops. I won't kick myself off the screen. I'll make some other adjustments. They might clear it up some more. Oh, we got Justice League of America 228. Mark Dula. Oof. Sorry. Who is oh, the title of the book? Um, um, New Team Titans 38. Who is Donna Troy? Come on. And the big one of the set. Uh, Power Man Iron Fist issue 50. Mark Julius. First time the title is called Power Man and Iron Fist. There you go, five Mark Jules for you to start off my night. Batman, Master of Assassins. Raven of Old 159, Batman and the Master of Assassins. Comic Presents, issue 33. Superman and Shazam. Justice League of America, 228. New Team Titans, 38. And the big one of the crew, the money maker, Power Man and Iron Fist. First time the title is being called Power Man and Iron Fist, issue 50. All five are Mark Jewelers. What's up, Helvetica? Good to see you. Hope you're doing good. All right, you guys. We've got Nathan Comics Planets in at $26. I'm going to tell you, DC all Mark, Mark Jewelers. Jewelers, all in. They're all Mark Jewelers. DC Mark Jewelers are a lot harder to find than any of the Marvel ones, you guys. So, <clears throat> they're, they're a lot rarer, okay? Superman and Shazam. Comics present issue 33, Superman and Shazam. Mark Jewelers. All of them are like 5 -0. We got Luigi in at 28. Right here, we got Justice League of America, 228. They're not so 
rare. I'm just saying they're rarer. They're harder to find than a Marvel book. That's the, I'm not saying that they're so rare that you can't find them. It's just Mark Jeweler DCs are harder to find. I've go. never come across one. I've always come across Marvel ones. Teen Titans 38. And one Marvel of the group. First time the title was changed to Power Man and Iron Fist, issue 50. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Great plays. You never find DC. They're harder to find. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've. I probably found a hundred Mark Jewelers and they were all Marvel. Never found a DC one. I found DC Whitman's, but never Mark Jewelers. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just harder to find. Exactly, Nathan. That's what I'm saying. They're they're not so rare, but they're rarer to find. They're harder to come by. They're harder to <clears throat> I got I was gonna do a run on some. But if it's you know not a heavy like this one, I didn't want to give up. But I think I can find another one. Heavy duty kids here when they changed the title name. Parman and Iron Fist. It should be they went from Luke Cage here for Iron Luke Cage to Parman and Iron Fist. So that's uh, that's a nice one to have. In a Mark Field. No, 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 it's all DC, Nathan. There's no, there's no Marvel. He's just there's showing no Marvel. Marvel. There's no Marvel. There's the Marvel. No there's one. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. Uh, is oh, there's, 50, one oh, hmm? there's one in this lot? Yeah, the Power Man and Iron Fist yeah, is this, the this, Marvel this, in the lot. This is the Marvel in the lot. Power oh, Man I and Iron Fist. Power Man, this is when it went from uh, Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. It was, it was Power Man for a while. It was, it was Power Man for a while. And it went straight to Power Man and Iron Fist. It met up in 48. And then 50, they changed the title to Power Man and Iron Fist. Are there more Mark Jewelers to add to this lot? Uh, man, you know, I got Mark. The Mark Jeweler box is on the floor behind me. I think he's out. They got one, 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 two, I don't want to, I like this one, I don't want to let me see. Let me see. I'm looking, I'm looking to see, I want to let something else go. I don't have nothing near me that I want to let go. There you go, so there's nothing, there nope, nope. If, if, look here, if it's Daredevil, or uh, some Daredevils I'll let go. Some stuff is for the, uh, the, uh. Whale auction? Yeah, yeah, the whale auction mark units are over here, but I can't sell them, I'm not trying that stuff. Yeah, we'll all see Mark Jewelers near me. All first right, house, guys, we're at 15 seconds. First Howard the Duck, be... we'll all see. Oh, first Howard the Duck, MJ. Man Thing, number one, high grade, Ooh. we'll all see. Dr. Strange, number one, we'll all see. Number Mark Jewelers. I got Mark Jewelers near me. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going into overtime. Here we go, guys. 16 seconds, overtime. First election <laughs> UK variant, whale auction. <laughs> They're all whale auctions. You're going to have to come back whale and take a look. look. Okay. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to save the whale auction, yeah. He's just giving you guys a highlight. Oh, here you go. Here you go. But this is one of my favorite books, but I got two of them. So just to be a, just to be a butt wipe, just to be a butt wipe, I'll sell it. But you got to, you got to pay me for this book. I'm going to give you my, you ain't going to pay this price for this book. <laughs> it comes in at sixty dollars. <laughs> it's twenty-four dollars at least for this book. Now, how about that, Captain America three hundred five? I got all. I got three hundred five and three hundred six in a uh, Mark Jeweler and three hundred whatever the whole the whole set in Mark Jeweler UK and regular. And I got an extra one, just an extra Mark Jeweler. So if you want that, that's when Captain Britain versus Captain America. And he comes in with his uh, what's the name? Oh. That's Captain Britain's new new outfit. Six sixty dollars, and that comes yeah, in. Sixty dollars, gonna... sixty dollars, guys. You want my Captain? I got two of these. You want a Captain Britain new new costume? <laughs> I'm a Captain Britain guy. That's what it is. I can't believe I got two of these. So I got the whole set. I, I, I think Zek did this. I wish I could get Zek to sign yeah. all three. Yeah, it's Mike Zek. 
it's, it's, it's 30 it's 305 306 two part storyline and i got 305 in mark jeweler canadian variant and regular then i got 306 in mark jeweler canadian variant and regular i wish i get his extra sign here this is the extra book out of that can't believe i came across another one so captain britain what there what's the go. shape of the the the, the captain we got 15 seconds left, you guys. Nathan, I I t added time to give you guys options to be able to add in because if he was going to add in, so that's why we're we're at where we're at. <clears throat> so what? Uh... Decent grade. Decent grade. There's no there's no fine ticks on it. Yeah. Wow. This is the ones they, they fold up at the, uh, at, they don't have a start stamp though. All right, I am gonna drop the, the end line. Nathan, you do have your option of being able to upgrade to $60. I might, I might, I might put it up later on. I'll put it up later on in late price. We can do it later on. Give me another line. Here comes the end line, guys. So this there is later on. I'll put something together. Dropping the end line. There it is. Yeah, I All right, like, oh Nathan. Na Nathan's Comic Planet is going to take your 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 lot there for thirty six dollars, Roman. All right, thirty six dollars. Steal, steal of a deal right there. Six dollars for Mark Jeweler. He made a deal. He can sell them for twelve. He can double his money <laughs> each. Nathan, he said he's gonna he's gonna IG ya. So I think he wants okay. your power. Oh man, that's uh, well, it's only a 2.0. So I'll go pair the Howard the Duck. Uh, we, we talking about the veil auction already. I'll go pair the Howard the Duck with the uh, because it's only a 2.0. The Howard with the, the Duck is uh, that's a Mark Jeweler, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh wow, so that's a Mark Jeweler. That's, first, that's the first Howard the Duck. It's got this fine roll on it. It's, I'm trying to save it for the veil auction. You can get that sneaker beat up. They got it at 2.0. I'll go pair it with the. Uh, with the man thing number one so that's how i'm gonna get paid so i can do a hundred dollar start on that and the you know and i got the wow nice i got some other stuff i got other stuff where i'm just trying to i wait i, I i'm waiting for the wheel off <laughs> nate 36 dollars plus 10 dollars to ship i g me my man we get y'all squared away 36 dollars right. plus 10 dollars to ship thank you so much i'll see you guys next round sounds good thank you thank you we're gonna move it on over to this bomb what, what what is this? What what do we got going on here? What? 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 I'm sorry. What? What? Uh, give me a ten dollars starting line, please. Where's Trollfire at? Ten. So I'm going to start with X Men Five O Nine. For ten bucks, and then let's see. You know what? For every, you know what? Let's get rid of some books. For every five bucks, I'm going to add another X women cover. Some of the ones that are out there. There's another Psylocke. Get in there. Do an X twenty three. So these are these are X Men books, TSCS. These are not. That's not for the Wonder Woman. Just so you know. DNA. I think that's like a twenty-five, thirty-dollar book. Another DNA. Every five dollars adds in another book. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. So there's a little Miguel Mercado, Polaris, some more Psylocke, and then one more Psylocke. So. Every five bucks. Every five bucks after ten is going to get another book. <laughs> Whatever books in the back. <laughs> you want to know the funny thing? They're not even books. Yeah, they're just covers. Yeah, those ten are not. Bucks for, for the little Greg Land Psylocke. This is one of my favorite Psylocke covers. This thing's gorgeous. Yeah, no, not for the Wonder Woman. Um, David Brewer, if you want some of those, I got some. I'll send you one or two. 
Well, Teresa, are you hiding these fake covers? What? Are you hiding some of these fake covers? I do have some, yeah. See? Yep. They're fake covers, guys. Now, you can put them on a book if you want to, but... Yeah, absolutely. I just don't know where they're at right now. So, there's that one. There's that one. You gotta see Spidey over here peeping. Spidey's peeping. This is a different one. This is very cool. This is a Star Wars cover. Oh, that is cool. It's actually a scene from one of the series. I don't remember which. I'm not a big Star Wars guy, so. Uh, the Clone Wars. Yeah, that's Clone Wars. That's it. Yep. Little, uh, little Frank Cho Wonder Woman ripoff. Literally ripped off. See, see what I did there? Yeah. Ripping. So. No, they're not real books. They are fake covers. I have some too. I, I got some. Oh, I'm not I'm, empty. I'm just, I'm just showing stuff off. No, he was talking to me. He was telling me not to give him away. Oh. All right, guys. Ten dollars. I think TSCS is gonna want to retract because he said he thought it was for the Wonder Woman. That's awesome. Ten dollars, guys, for the X Men book, and then every five dollars brings in another one. All right. Well, if that doesn't work, let's try something else. Um... Okay. Anybody interested in some X? Nobody likes the X ladies. I guess not. It's crazy. Hmm. It's in this stack of stuff. Oh, it's not over yet. I know that. I know. Oh, David Brewer says fifteen dollars. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, let's see, David. I'm going to throw the most expensive one in there that I know of that's in here, so. He loves his DNA. Well, there you go. There it is. Look at that. I don't know where it came from, but it's got a $30 price tag on it. <laughs> I do have one more. <laughs> DNA. I do have, if you're a DNA fan, I have this one, too, if you want to throw in another five bucks. Which Funko does he want, Trollfire? I only have two. <laughs> right. I'm like the I'm the I'm the anti Teresa. There we go, twenty bucks. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. These are sodas. These aren't pops. Thank you. Okay, see. People in the people in the Midwest call them pop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it too. All right, so we're at 20 bucks for three beautiful books. Now that we're playing with this, if anybody wants to get in on any of these, these would all be, well, each one is five bucks. We got Miguel Mergado Polaris, Shannon Mayer Mystique. Uh, I believe that's another Shannon Mayer Psylocke, Mercado Psylocke, Rico Psylocke. And wow. Shannon Mayer X23. This one's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Colors on it are really nice. Just giving everybody an opportunity to be able to add in. Got about 10 seconds left. Hey, Trollfire. Yep, the time increased, David Brewer, because he was showing the rest of the books. I am going to drop the end line right this minute. So, end line incoming. FYI, everybody. Fair warning. Here it is. There it is. Bam. Bam. All right, David, hit me up, my friend. All right, where are we at on likes, guys? We need about 50 likes here to give away. Oh, we need four more likes. All right, we got David Brewer. Um, you know, to be honest with y'all, um, Felix, I got you. Um, Doc Cop, I did not get all your bins. Oh, uh, I need to put mine in there. Sorry. 
yeah, buyers, guys. Um, I got you, Nola. I'm a little rusty. Sorry about that. No, you're all right. Um, I got Nathan for comic or Roman. Okay. Sorry, I usually pay attention to this stuff, and I usually have it all ready, but this round I actually wasn't, believe it or not. I put mine in. I know, I know. Where's Joe? So far? Is this... Uh, 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 Mike. Jacob? Okay. Okay. Don't you have, a, 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 a Mr. Collector, too? Yeah, sorry, I put mine one at a time just to get him on there. Oh, okay. And then if you want to put yourself on there since you had some pregame... Oh, no, 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 we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, those are my two. There you go, far. Yeah, I was gonna. Sh I was actually gonna show off one of my pops. You should see one of mine. I actually love this pop. This pop's really, really cool. Show it off. I'm just trying to find something for people to look at. <laughs> so look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Zinga. Right. I do like the black cat. That's cool. Yeah. 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 All right, let's do this. Let's get into the diner race. We go. Right. Stay hey, in the background. Teresa get her own Funko Pop. What? Oh, that one. You... Yeah, yeah, I, I made it. I made oh, it I myself. Would, would, you know, okay. you can pop yourself now. You can pop yourself now. So I just made one of myself there. So. You can pop yourself now. You, did you hear that number? Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Uh, I'm I'm actually busy popping myself as we speak, so I'll be uh, distracted for about 12 seconds. Bye. <laughs> That's why I keep my camera off most of the time. One, two, and three. Good luck, everybody that was purchased this round. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, you got Nathan comment at the top. I forgot to yeah. remind you. Yeah, no, you're good. I got you. See Woodward, Miss Dia. All right, who is TSCS? A newer buyer? I think they're going to win. Okay. Right about now. Come on, come on, TSCS. It's time to make you move. <laughs> oh, Patrick oh, Kelly oh, coming oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. PSK. All right. What right, PSK? What's he get? You now have two spots on the waffle. What'd he get, Barb? What'd he get? He gets a spot on the waffle. So now you have two spots. On this waffle, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything. But uh, there you go. That means that there's, uh, let's see, that was five fourth. So there's two spots left. All right, guys, get, give me one more like. We're gonna do two, or yeah, we'll do two spots on on Doc's wheel. Let's break the ice. Give me one more like. We're gonna do this really quick. Let's go. Two spots on Doc's waffle that he's got going on. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is just for Uncle Roman. This is Uncle Roman's favorite day of the week. We all know what it is. Roman, what is it? What is today? No Paul Tuesday. There you go, guys. <laughs> there it is. Like I said, his favorite day of the week. Hey, all cheers, right. Doc. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and run it. You guys can still continue to get in for the next one, but I'm gonna go ahead and run this one. Here we go. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's taking double wins. Man, he's got man. his name on both slabs. There we go. Ray. All right, running one more. Duck Cup, you got that? Patrick Kelly is. Uh, on your slab. Got it. Thank yes. you. All right. Yes, one, one more, more guys. Good. 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 
Right? I know. <laughs> totally rigged. All right, one more time, guys. Here we go. Good luck. Goon Monkey, you just got in. TSCS is the other winner, Doc. Got it. TSCS. All right, guys. So there we go. Keep hitting that like button. We might have some more giveaways, guys. So keep hitting that like button. All right, we're gonna go on, start our second round. Let's do this. We're gonna move it on over to this bum. What you got for us? I gotta put all my markers away. So, uh, most people that come here know I usually do a big spender giveaway. I was being really lazy today. I haven't cut this out yet. This will be my big spender giveaway. Ooh, that's this cool. This Batman sketch card. That's cool. I'm so, Batman. Whoever cool, spends the most with me I'll send that to you for free. I'm not quite done with it, but yeah. Um, okay, so I was going to show some more buy it nows this round. This is all going to be silver Ray stuff. But first off, two spots left. Buy the $5 a spot, shipping included. Only two spots left. So five you know waffle what? stuff. So we let's, can let's run just, it today. Let's just, let's just get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. Ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. What do you want the hashtag to be, you bum? I already closed the other one, so we have to do Hashtag BKFT, because it's Barbarian Kung Fu Tuesday. Oh, uh, no, Tuesday. It's Barbarian BKFT. Kung Fu. There we go, guys. Here we go. Start collecting comics. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get this going for the whole round. So you guys can get the hashtag in. There it is, guys. So the whole round. And at the end of Barb's round, we're going to go ahead and give those spots away. Oh, Let's okay. do it. Let's get rid of it. 10-4. Okay, so these buy it now is first. These are all Silver Age books. I think one of them may be like borderline. In fact, I know there's a 20 cent Submariner, but 25 cent. But I think it's Silver Age either way. So first off, we have this classic illustrated uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is a 15 center from 1964. Ooh. Number 13B is the number on it. Uh, it's not a first printing. If you know anything about Classic Illustrated, they did tons of printings. <laughs> but I got this at a VG minus for $5. If anybody's into that, five bucks. Uh, next one up, we have a Secret Six, number five. This is a DC Silver Age. Uh, I got this at a good, very good, so it's definitely a filler book. Uh, Five dollars if anybody's interested in it. We got Submariner Special Number Two. This is the one I don't really. I, it's twenty-five center, but I think it's from the sixties. Uh, the VG for five bucks. If anybody's feeling Submariner, you want to get some Submariner in your life. Here's a uh, Journey into Mysteries Number One Twenty. I got this at a good, so again, it's not a high grade copy, but I got it for $15 if anybody's interested. It's got a store stamp. It's got a store stamp. Do you see that? Uh, Nathan. Um, yep. it, it's, not, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's got a star stamp if you call no, I somebody said store writing stamp. their name I, on it. Yeah. I somebody said, named oh, Hag. Dang it. <laughs> Hag. Uh, he, okay, no, so no, Nathan's got a couple. He's got uh, Ben Sub Mariner. Okay. He's got been your four, and then he said fifth, something fifteen. What was fifteen? The the Thor was fifteen. Okay. Yeah, and that's uh, Nathan's comic planet. Yeah. Good dude. What's up? Yep, I've been seeing him in here a lot, so uh, I look forward to doing business with you, sir. I think this is the first time that you've purchased for me, so. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get it going. Uh, next book up is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number, oh, this is Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number three, the Ranko cover. I got this at a VG. The uh, the center of the book is detached. That's one of the main concerns with this. It's, it's a nice, solid copy, but it's VG. $15 on that. Uh, next one is Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Number 13, I got this at a VG Plus. It's the uh, first appearance and death of the Super Patriot. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Uh, $15 on that one. 
Next up. Okay, I just showed two, Nathan. Do you want to? Is that was that for the first one? Here, hold on. Was that for this one or this one? I'm, I'll show this one first. First, first one. Okay, one. gotcha. Sounds good. Next one up is Thor number 164. Third cameo of him. I got this at a good, very good. So it's another, you know, low grade. Uh, $15. Gets you a nice Thor book. Number three. You want, yeah, number three is the one I got you for, bud. Uh, next up. We have Submariner number eight. This is a beat up copy. It's a good condition. The fourth appearance of Vision, by the way, but this is just, I love this cover. And uh, I have a really nice copy, so I'm just getting rid of the lower grade one I have. $15 on that as well. Next one, Captain America number 120. I got this at a fine plus. Well, that's a nicer one. Um, 15 cent, but I think, I can't remember if it's a silver age or not. Borderline. <laughs> uh, next up, we got another Journey into Mysteries. This is number 115. You see there's a chunk out of the corner up here. It kind of gives you a hint. This is a fair to good copy. Uh, <laughs> second appearance of Absorbing Man in this. And I got this at $20. You're not supposed to eat your books. No, I know, but we buy what we can afford when we can find it. That's a, that's, that's a key. Mind. I think that's a key yeah. look issue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the second absorbing man, but I don't Nathan know about got it. Nathan key. took that. Nathan took okay. your Yeah. Got gotcha, you, bud. Uh, the next one I got is Thor number one forty-seven. Uh, this is the origins of the Inhumans continued. It's like multiple parts. So uh, this is a fine plus copy for 20 bucks. And the last one we got here is Amazing Spider-Man number 17, right? Yeah. Um, I just got a nicer copy from Cat60, so I'm selling mine. This is a fair to good 1.5. Got it at 100 bucks. You can make me an offer if you think that's too high, but I would suggest looking it up. It says there's one clipped coupon, does not affect story. Um, Second appearance of the Green Goblin. 100 bucks, or make me an he offer. He wants your other Thor. He wants the other Thor. Gotcha. Gotcha, bud. All right. So there's that. Oh, I got to do an auction or something, don't I? Okay. Some. Yeah. I only got that far. I was too busy drawing. Um, let's do these. I got a... Uh, we'll do this one first. Two book McFarlane lot auction started at a buck. This is a fine, very fine copy of Hulk number 345. Todd McFarlane cover. I Next love McFarlane cover. The other one I have is the Amazing Spider Man with Red Spill on it. It was at number 325. That'll come in later. First, I got to see if I can get some bids on this banger. Did you draw that Hulk in the bottom there? This, yeah, I drew that. This yeah. has got it's a remark that I did. Not Todd McFarlane, but me. Uh, he wants a spine slide, please. Spine slide? Okay, let me see if my camera will cooperate. Here we go. From the corner. Come on, don't, don't give out on me now. That's not damage, that's the back cover. It's got kind of like a miswrap, you know what I'm saying? That corner's got a little bit of a issue down there. You're not supposed to pick your teeth with the corner, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if I can get it to focus back in, you can see that corner looks pretty good. Overall, the book looks solid. Um, I'll take it out and show you the back. Remember I said fine, very fine. So it's not we're not expecting near mint here. Maybe that corner's got some fuzzy going on. Come on, stupid shit. Fucking... I'm about to throw it. Not the book, but my camera. There. Wait, there. Oh, wait, there. Well, you can see that. 
Maybe it'll clear up as I go. Come on, damn it. Oh, really? I'm about to throw the shit back in the box and take it back to the store. There. There. Okay, so that gives you an idea. There's no major, major damage to anything, you know. It's it's a solid copy. I can find the center. The center. It's not signed by Todd McFarlane. That's good. Well, come on now. Okay, well, I swear it has a center. <laughs> Yeah, I have this price at twenty dollars, so I know the value of it is is where it is. Like it's it's not a two dollar comic, but yeah. Hulk number three forty five. He's crushing the Hulk logo. They've homaged this cover multiple times. Hey, King Kong of the Skies here. What's up, man? It's the next book. What's that? You got a bid. What's the next book coming at? Um, if the next book comes in at twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, guys. And it's an equal grade copy, fine, very fine. You want to see his face or will that scare people off oh there's a ring light on there Arrgh. i'm todd mcfarlane i draw way too much detail on hulk i make him look really bumpy <laughs> the next book is an asm and it comes in at 20 dollars. oh yeah yeah the next book is uh asm 325 newsstand copy we got hulk our Hulk. You got Red Skull and Spider Man. You got the American flag. You got a little Todd McFarlane banger situation going on there. That comes in at twenty dollars. At twenty dollars. This is win right now. I think that that ASM was a newsstand. It is. Nice. Fine, very fine. And like this, like this hasn't been pressed. It could probably get better if it was pressed. Same with this one. I hadn't pressed it. I really, like, one of my biggest problems with it is the cut on the top. Like, it was not cut very good. It cuts off some of the letters. They need to do better, printer. ESK is going to steal this thing for six bucks. He's going to steal it, and then he's going to take it home, and he's going to love it. I know. All right. Oh, is it? I forgot to mention it's in a Mylar, too. Does that make a difference? <laughs> we, 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 we're going into overtime here. Going into overtime since there's multiple bidders. Multiple bidders go into overtime. Now they just want to see me sweat trying to hold it up. Don't forget, right. the only way to get in on the buyer's giveaway is to buy comics. And did we show what the buyer's giveaway was for this round? Uh, no. It's a mystery. David Brewer came in at 20 bucks. Okay, so that means both of these are in. You get the ASM 245. I'll give you a little spine slide of that since I know how much people like their spine slides. Come on. There we go. Not bad. It's got a little dog ear up there. That the the bend can press out, but you're always gonna have that. Got some little ticks going on. Staple stress. There's a lot of staple stress. That's one of the reasons it got such a dinger of a grade. Let's see if you can get that corner there. It looks pretty nice. Get over there. That corner. That's what I was talking about. It cuts off the whole T. What the hell? Somebody was drunk at work that day. Yeah, I got this at a fine, very fine as well. I don't know, Comfort. That looks like a 9.9 to me. 
I mean, I might pre-screen it at that now that you can. The back doesn't look too bad. That corner is a little fuzzy. There's no big stresses on the spine. That 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 staple's got some wear to them. It's got some stress on the staple. Looking pretty white. That corner right there looks like. Well, I mean, it looks worse on the camera than it does in person. <laughs> All right, dropping the end line, dropping the end line. Here we come. David, David Brewer. Brewer. Taking the hand. Well. All right, uh, David Brewer. I need to look and see. I believe I have a giveaway win for you, and if I do, you'll have free shipping. But uh, I'll have to look in the morning because it's in the bedroom where my wife's asleep. And I can't go wake her up to tell you if you got free shipping. <laughs> All right, Barbara, you ready? Am I ready? Are we ready? Are we ready and willing to rock the place? What do you mean? Are oh. we ready? Hey, I'm ready if you are. All right, guys. You guys are getting slab spots. Ready? Everybody done this? Here we go. Good luck, all you bums. Good luck. Good luck. Here it goes. Who's it going to be? There's one spot. Oh, that no, bum. No, green machine. Oh, we need to redraw. We need to redraw this bum. <laughs> oh, oh, green. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can only win one spot on a raffle once a year. Oh, yeah. and you've already been on one too many times. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're doing the next one. Here we go. Last spot, guys. Good luck. Oh, I see Weapon X trying to sneak in there, too. Yeah, I see you. Uh huh. I see you, buddy. <laughs> oh, this Mr. Bum. Collector. Dapper bum. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all ten spots. I'll go all ahead right. and make a wheel and we can run it at the end. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, really quick before we jump on over to the next seller, guys, make sure you guys. Give us a follow on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays over here on Strictly Comic, the affordable comic auction. Please, you guys, make sure you guys go give us a follow also on Facebook and Instagram, Strictly Comics Group with an X. Uh, over on Facebook, if we can get up to 100 followers, we will, our MT said he will be giving away a slab. So let's go over there. If you guys haven't, jump on over there. You can share it out to your friends. Tell them to give him a follow. Uh, let's get them up there uh, so we can get some some giveaways given given away. All right, guys, don't forget on April twentieth here we've got uh, the whale auction. Everything starts at a hundred dollars, no less. We got keys, grails, and white whales. So make sure you guys come check these guys out. Uh, some phenomenal books that you don't see on a regular basis. And also, Madhouse uh, Comics, go give them a follow. They host every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can actually check me out over there on Fridays go right now. So I'm I'm hosting over there on Strict or on what Madhouse. So uh, come hang out with me on Fridays. We appreciate it. All right, we're gonna move it on over to the next bum. What you got for us? Hey, that reminds me. Do you want to run a? Oh, do you want me to build a wheel or do you want to run a race for that? whatever you want it don't matter to me whatever's easier however be easier you want me. yeah whatever whatever is easiest for you and it, it takes me two, two seconds so whatever whatever you want okay well i'll type it into the private chat everybody there you go we'll do all right we can just copy and paste it i can do a wheels too oh i bet you can you dirty girl <laughs> i know i know i know <laughs> sorry felix what's up nah it's all good yeah troll fire still got your books bro so yes sir um, I got a little buy it now little midnight ash can, ten bucks if you guys want one of these. It's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm gonna do a DC lot. Every five dollars, I'm gonna throw in another book. So here we go. Do a five dollar start. No, no, no. When the five dollars start. Alright, yeah, that sounds better. Alright. <laughs> so, Weird <laughs> Ooh. 
Nice okay. uh, World War Tales. Uh, I think this is uh, number 35. These are harder and harder to find, so it's been smoking too much. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wish. <laughs> so. All right, guys, builder. Let's do it. Yeah, these are all going to be all World War Tales. Weird War Tales. Yeah. See that shit five times real fast. Yeah. Nice little DC. Let's see. Pretty nice. Noah, are you here? Nola. And well in so every five bucks, I'll throw another one in. So we got quite a bit today. So. What's up, Spider Flint? All right, guys, five dollars. This is a builder. Every five dollars brings in another weird world. Get in on this. Ooh, Nathan's right. in at five. All right. The next one comes in at ten. Yep. Who's next? There it is. There it is. Somebody's there. I think Joe Kubert too. So yeah, it's a Kubert. No, I wish. I would have been starting off at twenty. 20 a pop if they're like all oh, smart jewelers, but they're so hard to find. DC Mark jewelers are extremely hard to find. I'm a sucker, I'm a sucker for these war tales. Have a bunch. I pick them up all the time. I love, I love them. These are nice. Let's go to ten, and I'll throw in the next one. Let's go. Get in there, guys. Get in there. This one, got this one. I got the Medusa cover. Ooh. I got the Green Lot Less Monster cover. I got another Medusa with the Creature Commandos. And then I've got some Star Spangled War. That's a badass cover. Medusa cover. Yeah, Medusa cover is sweet. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. badass right there. Yeah, and the Creature Commandos, early Creature Commandos. Yeah. And then I got a Man of War number one, throw it in there. It's pretty cool. That's amusing. Yep. And then uh, this is DC, a little house of mystery. So, little DC builder. But for now, this one. What's Weird Wars? Ah, uh, it's um, it's kind of like a spin on it. Star Spangled War. It's like the Unknown Soldier. They don't just fight Nazis. They fight all kinds of stuff. They fight dinosaurs. They fight aliens. They yeah. fight monsters like like zombies and stuff. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it's it's. I'm not a big DC person, but I do like me some weird war, especially them old ones where they're fighting the dinosaurs all the time. Those are my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Why is the door open? Because I left it open. <laughs> Hold the door! Hold the door! Hold the door! <laughs> my kids thinking they can come in my house and like they own it. Right. Okay, close it. <laughs> Open the door. Where were you born in the barn? 
uh, David Guerrero, know, this isn't, it, it really isn't like a DC, it, it's not like regular oh, yeah. Batman or Wonder Woman or anything like that. So like, Weird War is just, it's just weird tales of war. So that's all it is. So. Yeah, literally, like the name says it all. It's, it's like a, a military, uh, what would you call it, a company? I guess a platoon. Mm -hmm. It's not a platoon because it's not that big. It's like nah. one small group of dudes. Creature Commandos comes in later on in the series. The early stuff is, uh, I think, the Losers. I think that's who it was. Like the Losers were the ones that were in it, and they uh, they fought all kinds of weird shit, man. I don't remember if they got sent back in time or what it was. But it was right. it was World War Two, man. They're probably high as shit. So. <laughs> He's looking for num number 90 and number 58. Do you have 90 or 58 in there? Um, the ones I have up here is the ones I have. That's why I was just going to put them in a bundle. All right. Well, you I have your option. Every $5 brings in another book, Nathan. You can go all the way up. But yeah. I am going to drop that in line because the timer did expire. We are actually 30 seconds into the next time. So. But they re they recruit Medusa and their, and their crew. See, that's crazy. All right, end line's coming in. End line's yeah, coming yeah. in. Nathan, if you want to buy the whole lot, you're more than welcome to. Hit Felix up. Yeah. What in the world? My kid. Dude. Like. <laughs> Dang, there's a time and a place for that, okay? It's not right. when... <laughs> Do you see my hands? There ain't nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a beer in my hand. Embarrassing. But yeah, All these right. are cool. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, thank you. Have, you. Guys? Oh. We're going to move it on over to Doc. Doc, what you got for us? Hey, just a reminder again, everybody. I have both of these waffles. Both of these slabs are included in the same waffle. 15 spots. There's uh, 13 left. At $10 a spot, you get a 9.2 Son of Satan, white pages, number one. And you get the Marvel Spotlight, number 12, which is the uh, origin of, uh, Son, of Sa uh, Son of Satan, 8.0 white pages. Both of these are coming in for a $10 spot. 12 are left. Let's get it done. All right, I got some. Hey, uh, hold on one sec, Doc Cop. Um, Teresa, I got to go. Um okay. I'll I'll see y'all later. All right, bye. All right, we got some uh, buy it nows. We got a uh, an amazing Spider Man number two ninety nine. This is a nine point six white pages McFarlane art. This is the first cameo of Venom, and this is a fair market value. And according to GoCollect.com, is two eighty. I'm doing a one fifty buy it now. The 9.6 white pages. I have Incredible Hulk, second print, 9.4 white pages. This is a $55 buy it now. And the last copper I got going on is the this is the first appearance of Charlemagne and the death of Ned Leeds. This is Spider Man versus Wolverine number one. 9.0 white pages CGC, and this is a $50 buy it now. All right, I got some other buy it nows I want to show you before we start the auction. We got a still in the poly bag, Death of Superman in the early 90s. This is a $15 buy it now. We got a New Warriors number one. This is a high grade near mint copy. This is a $15 buy it now. We got an X Factor number one, also high grade near mint, and it's a newsstand. And this is $20 buy it now. We got a Venom number one. This is a candidate. And I'll do this for $30, buy it now. And the last buy it now I got on this round is Inhumans number one. This is also a, this I have graded at a 9.6. 
and this is $40 buy it now. Again, they're all high grade. The auction we're going to start out at $40. I'm sorry, we're going to start this out at, at uh, $25. Okay. It's Fantastic Four Silver Age. It's the king size annual number eight. And this is a VF copy. I'll do a spine slide for you. You'll see it's really, really high grade. It's the prestige format, not crushed or anything. Good move, Nathan. Corners are really nice. This is a great issue with Submariner. Get your FFs now before the movies come out. Again, those who've bought from me, they know I, I buy high grade stuff, so you're gonna get high grade. Very, very clean copy. I promise you'll be ecstatic when you get this book. It's gonna it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Pages are white, it's really nice. Nathan says not so fast. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Says I'm going increments of five. Let's go. <laughs> right. He's, he, he says let's go. He, right, guys. So if, if we bring in another fifty dollars, I'll show you this book. You're gonna like this. This is Fantastic Four number eighty nine. It does have a store stamp. This will come in for another fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. I'll do, the, $100. I'll do the spine slide for you. Yeah, he said for an additional 50, so $100 will bring that one in. So, 
could Nathan come back in at 100? If he wants? Yes. 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 Because right. whenever you introduce a new book, then anyone that previously had folded can re enter. Okay. Which Nathan did choose to do. Yeah. So at, at $150, this VF Plus near mint minus copy of FF100 comes in. And I'll do, this is really a beautiful, beautiful book. Usually I know that, Nathan. I just wanted to double check, so. I got you, Nathan. It's been a long time, but I remember that rule still. <laughs> I'm a throw in a new book kind of guy. You don't find silver in this condition. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. These are great. So what did you say the next book comes in it? At 150. This is uh, the anniversary, 100 issue. So this is the anniversary issue. If you look at the cover, everybody's in there. All right. So we are going to go into overtime, guys. So we do have multiple active bidders. So here we go into overtime. We right are now, at $100. So. Right now, these two are in. <clears throat> <laughs> the, co the colors on these books are amazing. And again, at, at another $50, the FF100 comes in. Ooh, the monkey's gonna fall. Uh, Mr. Collector's still lurking, probably. I know, he's still in this too. Mm -hmm. He's thinking. He's counting mm -hmm. his pennies. He's digging in the couch. He's running his fingers through the quaff, thinking. <laughs> ah, he thought about it. Oh, you scared him away, Michael. Look what you mm -hmm. did. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got about five seconds left, and I'm going to go ahead and drop the end. I think it's going to go to Nathan for $100 here. Thank you, Nathan. Bye. Appreciate it. All right, here comes the M line. Fair warning, guys. Trying to add for legs, so that's why I say this. There we go. No premature M line here, guys. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank you, Doc. Don't you hate it when that happens? I know, right? Yep. All right, we're going to move it on over to this guy. Michael, what you got for us? Oh, I'll turn the camera on. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to circulate some new buy it nows through here. Sorry, they're all DC for all the haters out there, but deal with it. Um, got Showcase Presents number 94. This is the first appearance and origin of the second Doom Patrol. Ooh. We do $20 buy it now or best offer on that. That's the better Doom Patrol. Let's call them that. I agree. I agree. <laughs> um, I have DC Special um, number 29. This is the origin of the Justice Society of America and the final issue of DC Special. And I don't mean to cover his face. It just happens to be located there. Did you show it in humans or did Doc show it in humans? That was earlier. Okay, so I think you and Monkey that was, was Yeah, that wasn't me. Oh. Doc? He's probably talking Doc's uh, in humans number one for 40. I got you, Goon Guy, Monkey. Okay. Um. Yeah, final issue and JSA origin there for forty or best offer. Um, DC Superstars presents number seventeen. This is the first appearance and origin of Huntress. Elena Wayne Huntress mm -hmm. and uh, Earth Two Marriage of Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. So do eighty five dollars or best offer on that. And I also have Huntress number one. Ooh. This is first Helena Bertinelli Huntress um, for 20. Or if you want to do both, I'll do both for 100. Key books, guys. Key books right there. And then DC Superstars of Magic number 11. Beautiful Satana cover. This is a look this book up. It's not a cheap book. Uh, 125 uh, buy it now this is the um adventure comics 412 through 415 that featured her collected in one book 
the 125 or best stop for buy it now on that and then last bite now for this round uh, doorway to nightmare first appearance of madam xanadu very high grade copy fifty dollars buy it now on that or best offer and then go ahead and give me a five dollar starting line this is going to be an amazing spider-man builder lot um i'm told one two three five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15 potential books to go in. A new one gets added every $5. First issue is ASM 217. This is when Hydro and Sandman team up to fight Spider-Man. And then first appearance of Mudman when they combine. So five more dollars will bring in the next issue. Wow. A nice book yeah. right there, guys. That's a newsie. Potential of 15 ASM books. Oh, wants to bring in the second one. Second book is ASM 229. This is part one of the uh, Nothing Can Stop the Juggernaut story. So. $10 brings that one in. Again, each additional $5 will bring in another issue. As of right now, we have these two issues in. Our next issue to come in, and some of these, especially for $5, is criminally underpaying. Uh, next one will be 244, which is third appearance of Hobgoblin. You want to bring it to 15. All these amazing Spider-Man are at the very least minor keys. Okay, so 15 brings in 244, which is third appearance of Hog Goblin. Um, and first cameo appearance of Lefty Donovan. Uh, next $5 will bring in ASM 245. This is the first appearance of Lefty Donovan as Hog Goblin and his death. All in the same issue. So $20 will bring that one in. I didn't set a timer again, Michael. I'm sorry. I'm such a bum. <laughs> oh. There's a book that you have that my buddies texted me with about, so that's why I'm like. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it a DC book? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was about yeah, to say, damn it. If there, is a, damn it. If, if there is a silver or bronze DC key, I probably have it right now. I know, right? Best bum. That's it. Let's say after that one, if you bring in 245, an additional five would bring in 250, which is a great JRJR cover. After that would be 272, 275 after that, but if we want to stick with three books. That's cool too. Michael Wilson wants 20. So 20 brings in ASM 245, which is first appearance of Lefty Donovan as Hobgoblin and Lefty Donovan's death. What's up, Adam Horry? Excuse me. See if it gets to 25, that'll bring in ASM 250, which is a JRJR cover. Really nice Hobgoblin one. And this one goes for a lot more money than I thought. Some eBay sales for like 30 to $40 on that book in that high grade. But 
25. We'll bring that one in. And I mean, if you want to see what kind of book it is. All right, 25 brings that one in. Now we're at 250. An additional $5 will bring in ASM 272. This is the first appearance of Slide. We're at 30 already. Oh, okay. So that brings that book in. Uh, 35, bring in ASM 275, which is the retelling of the origin of Spider-Man. This one's a direct though, still a high grade copy. We want to do 35, that will bring that one in. All right, there's 35. So that brings ASN 275 in. If okay. we want to go to four. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you keep going. Oh, I'm we went to forty, it. so we're on the next one, right? Make sure, I keep my count right. Yep. So forty brings in ASM two seventy six. This is the first and only appearance of Flash Thompson as Hobgoblin. So then, brings that one in two forty five. We we'll bring in ASM three oh nine in a new stand. This is a nice Todd McFarlane cover. This is the first team appearance of Sticks and Stone. Ooh. So, you get that to 45, that will bring that in. A lot of great ASM books on this route. Well, I'm not just going to put, I'm not going to put any non-keys up there. We are at 45 already. All right. So 45 brings that in. Um, I'm actually going to throw two more in if we get this to 50. Um, I have ASM 343. This is the first cameo appearance of Cardiac. And ASM 374. Excuse me great Mark Bagley cover of Venom. So. That's right, right? One, two, three. Yes. If we get it to 50, I'll throw two more of them in there. We've got about 15 seconds left in the regular timer. Fifty. All right, that resets that clock. All right. So, and that brings in three forty-three and three seventy-four. If we do five more dollars, I'll throw in two more as well. Um, ASM Annual twenty-seven. This is first appearance of Annex. And then ASM 400, this is the embossed cover, and it is a newsstand. So, for those of you that haven't seen a newsstand version of this book, there's a little pop-out, cut-out there to indicate that's a newsie. So, five more dollars will bring in those two books. Which, I believe, just happened. All right. So, first appearance of Annex and ASM 400, the embossed cover, newsstand copy. Uh, five more dollars will bring in uh, ASM 411. This is actually, I call it a parody, but it's not really a parody. It's an imitation story of the death of Bruce Wayne's parents. However, Spider-Man saves them and the little boy in the book actually has a Batman t-shirt on. So, five more dollars brings that in, and then 
10 more dollars will bring in ASM 441. Um, first, Maddie Franklin, who later becomes Spider Woman. And this is the last ASM issue of the of volume one before they relaunched it for the first time. So, well, that newsstand copy of number 400 you have, yes, yeah. almost worth what your bid is up to now. That's such a hard book to find. Like there, I have, a, I'm collecting ASM, and I have. There's like four different covers to that book. There and, is, and, and, and what's uh, crazy is the cheapest one is the one I've never, I've never seen the non-embossed before. Yeah, it which took is, me a while to weird. find that one too. The newsstand one's the only one that I don't have, and it's because I don't want to pay what people are asking for it on eBay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a tough exactly. book to find, especially in high grade. And then. There it is, Final Issue Volume 1. So all the books are in. Um, this is a 15-book <laughs> lot. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I, I hate to break it to you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be that guy. But in this condition, last sold of this book was $45. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I mean, by itself. I mean, that so, right there, the first Mud Man is... is yeah, like... That ASM. thing spiked up a lot when that movie came out. And the second one... Whatever yes, that, when, I can't remember which one it was, but the one with uh, Mysterio. Yeah, and they said that they thought that was going to be a big deal, but it's come down, but it hadn't come down to where it was before that. <laughs> right, exactly. See, that's a good but, one too. And that's a yeah. good one too. That's the first sticks and stones. Yep. So no, I, anytime I put up an ASM lot, they're always going to be key issues, minus this one. But I think I just think it's a great Bagley, and it's right before three seventy five, which course is a key yeah yeah that's a good one. ironically enough for the guy that didn't create venom mark bagley definitely drew him more than any other artist <laughs> ever but all right nathan went to 70 that reset that clock oh l comic book went to 80 so that's going to reset that clock again and everybody oh. loves spider-man so 81 we're at 81 I'm going to reset that clock one more time. This might be a silly question, but you did check those for Mark Jeweler, sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, believe and it or not. Pumpkin yeah. bombs on it. I've found four different Mark Jewelers of that one. That's why whenever I see it, I'm like, that could be a Mark Jeweler too. Because <laughs> I've found so many of that copy in Mark Jeweler. <laughs> right. No, there's no exactly. newsies in this, MT. There's no newsies whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not kidding. One. <laughs> not one. Not one. MT wants to know what the grade is. So we're at 90. That resets that overtime on, clock on again. What? We are in overtime. Just so you guys know, I just didn't put the banner up because we're showing off all these books. So <clears throat> under bid, we'll take. Otherwise, well, there was other people bidding, wasn't there? Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. So he didn't fold. Yeah. So there's multiple it. people in here. So we do have to let that clock run up. Um, yeah, I was asking. I, I don't, I don't know what book you're talking about, MT. What, which one? Yeah, there's a few of them. There's a few yeah. new stands. There's all keys in this lot. So, yeah, I don't First know. Stones. Oh wait, I think he wants to know the grade on the ASM book. <laughs> there are 15 books. One five. 15. And there is still way more value. <laughs> Underbid if you guys want to reset that is, clock. Underbid if you want to reset that clock. But this is the affordable auction, so. Otherwise, here we go. Dropping that end line. Here it comes. Fair warning, guys. Fair warning. I can oh, type. MT got a dollar extra oh, in there. Okay, so that reset that clock. I couldn't get the, the end line off in time. Which MT, I haven't shipped your books yet, so you would save in shipping. All right, that resets that clock one more time. There's 15 books in this. They're all keys, MT, um, or most of them are keys except for that. Yeah, all but one. All yeah. but one. <clears throat> L comic book is in at 95. We're at 45 seconds left on the uh, overtime timer. My hand's cramping over here. Don't you hate uh -oh. this? <laughs> you need to add some more books. There's not enough. Somebody needs to invent a way to... Put the, big the big book. book. What's yeah. the big book? They're all big books. They're all bigger books. What did you say that one was forty five dollars? So this, so like this is third appearance of Hobgoblin. 
There you go. This is this is anywhere from a fifteen twenty dollar book by itself. Um, this one is a really iconic JRJR Hobgoblin cover. This sold for forty five bucks on eBay in this condition. Last sold. So I All mean, right, we've got ten seconds left. There isn't a big book. The first appearance of Slide. That might be the big key. <laughs> All That's right. the one that he wants, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Dropping that end line. The timer has ran out. Timer has ran out. Dropping that end line. Here we go. I, I mean, that one right there is probably the most valuable one. So what's that? Oh, the, he says yes. There it is. <laughs> oh, um, he came in too late. I mean. Oh, he's talking he, about the new stand ASM 400. I gave you guys fair warning. Did I not? You did. You did. Okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm not arguing with it. I know All the right. rules, Teresa. I, I know, but MT always wants to tell me that I have premature end line. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get fired if you don't watch that. I, I know, You hate right? it when that happens. Yeah. All right, so El Comic Box. Oh, please. Oh, fire oh, now, now they're going to heckle you. <laughs> now you're going to get heckled. I know, right? That's all right. Great lot, El Comic Box. His um, information scrolling down here. Yeah, hit me up on IG if you have Instagram. I'm scrolling right there. If not, my email is what my PayPal is. Um, where were we at? 95? We're right? at 95. Okay, okay perfect. 95. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, MT, I mean, I, I tried to tell you. Like, I gave you enough seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Drop that end line. All right. Well, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. We're going to no jump on over to this bomb. Is he there? I don't think he is, you guys. Uh-oh. I think he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uncle Roman! Hey, Uncle, Uncle Roman! Roman! You need to wheel your ass back in here. <laughs> Uncle Roman. Hey, Teresa, if you don't mind me asking, what book was your friend asking about? Oh, he was. Well, oh, there he is. <laughs> we were talking about the magic one. So. Oh, the, the Satana book? <laughs> is it yeah. Data? He yes. looks like Data for a second. Yeah. Right. Uncle Roman, it's your turn. <laughs> You know, maybe this is why he likes No Paul Tuesdays, because he can sleep and Paul doesn't heckle him. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about that good sleep he was getting earlier. Right? I know. He went back to sleep. He was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Can you please put your winnings in the private chat as well, please? I'd appreciate it. Making sure. Um, I just... I had the auction that one, so I'll get that one in there. Are you awake, Uncle Roman? We can't hear you. Oh my gosh. Did y'all just hear that? Uh-uh. <laughs> my sodas just fell down behind me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know he needs a pillow. He does. Uncle Roman, you are on mute, you bum. Just telling you. All right, guys, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Let's give him an opportunity to be able to wake up for a minute. I know, David Brewer. I know. All right. Oh, let's see. I Is had the book in one. Sorry, y'all. I had the book in my hand. Oh, you're all right. Is Nick Black? Is Nick Black? Is that one person, or is Black a different person? Or... No, Nick Black is one person. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, he's a uh, two guys from Instagram bought spots on it. Okay. Him and Walk. Walk is one person too. Okay. Okay. We got that set up. Should I wait until? Oh, I want to sell this book. I want to, I want to wait until the movie comes out. Can I get more when the movie comes out? MT! 
Damn, I hate wearing these headphones. MT's in here. We know he is. He's watching the auction, y'all. I didn't know if Mark was going go with this. I hate to sell this one. I love this cover, but I'm hungry. I love this cover. Oh, you hear all that you're auctioning it all? <laughs> you putting that up? It's not the uh, Virgin Series the book I was looking for. Man, it's that's not the Virgin Series. My gate is my gate is too. They wanted one of my books. They gave me that and something else. Y'all gonna vote for me? Y'all want Wolverine or uh Mark? Yeah, they gave me that this from one of my books in the space. <laughs> Yahweh saying put up the ultimate. All 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 I don't know. Ultimate. Ultimatum. 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 Oh, Yahweh's in here. I bet she does when we be yeah, Yahweh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, Yahweh. Hold on. That was nice. Yeah, I didn't need that. All I wanted was the, all I wanted was the, uh, what's the name? He gave you through that in just because. Uh, I hate to sell someone, somebody just nice enough to throw something in extra. Just because. I'm trying to figure out what to start with it. You want Wolverine or you want some kind of National Diamonds and, in, in, uh, and Mark do a lot? I mean, I think everybody wants Mark, National Diamonds over in Mark Jewelers, but let's, you know, like, it depends on what the Wolverine is. Yeah. Is it Frank Miller Wolverine? Because I don't know. <laughs> no. No, it's not Frank Miller Wolverine. <laughs> it's a nice artist. It's signed. Got a little COA. And you Ooh. can't get it signed no and you can't get it signed no more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. John's saying, okay, the ultimatum starting at one dollar. Here we go. Yeah, Let's here go. we go. <laughs> My man feels in here, huh? Uh, ultimatum started at one dollar. I'm gonna say this this Wolverine. I'm gonna show y'all what it is. Because don't, 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 don't nobody want. Don't 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 nobody want a Michael Turner Wolverine cover. Oh, signed by Michael Turner. Yeah, that's a good one. Here. I don't have his yeah. sign, but I got that book too. That's yeah. nice. That's that's a good Michael Turner. Give me fifty dollars. This is my I don't really want to sell this lot price. Are we doing a blind lot here? No, we ain't doing a blind. Uh-uh. We're not gonna <laughs> do the people like that. We're not pulling a Yahweh blind lot? No. Blind lot? I'm the king of the blind lot. No, uh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Well, all this big stuff is in this box. Yahweh's got some fire blind lots, though. Yeah, Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh learned from me. <laughs> Are you the OG? Yeah. In, in Roman, we trust. <laughs> That's the famous lot. In Roman, we trust. Where in the hell is... I found some stuff that was just on the floor. I got books everywhere. It's possible. Books on the floor. Oh, I say $50, right? Rick. You did. Okay, so I first up, National Diamonds. Ooh. Daredevil, issue 90. National Diamonds, Daredevil, issue 90. This is, uh. Next up. Pretty high grade here. Uh, Captain America 305, that Captain Britain's new suit. No spine kicks at all. We're at 50 already. 
All right, guys, keep hitting that like button too. If we can get it to 75, I'll do another giveaway, guys. Let's this go. This is one I didn't want to sell. And I don't like selling my either Black Panther or Daredevil covers. They already know that, but uh, uh, Daredevil 245. I'm gonna find something else in here. Let's put up. I'm gonna find something else to put up, folks. Let me see. And the last book is Star Stamp. The last book is Star Stamp. Daredevil 104. Craven the Hunter appearance. And here's your. Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Are these all in at fifty dollars? Is this the builder? Yeah. 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 They're all, all in. in. They just start that right there into the one hundred four. Oh, y'all crazy! Fifty dollars, guys, for all these Mark Jewelers, man. Or are these yeah, a national man. diamond? No, got one of national diamond. One. That is all it. Right. There, that will issue ninety is national diamond. Then we got Mark Jeweler. High grade, 305, new suit of Captain Britain. There we go, Captain America versus uh, Captain Britain. And then we got 245. We got a team up of Daredevil and Black Panther. That is a Mark Jeweler. And the last right. Mark Jeweler is Daredevil 104, and it is Star Stamp. And it's hard to do. Man. And the Craven the <laughs> is the national diamond, yeah? No, this is not, this is, this, this is Mark Jeweler. I'm just trying to show the star stamp. What the hell is it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> star stamp. So, okay. 90 is the 90 is the national diamond. 90 is the national. Let me go back here and see. I might have to get this replaced. So, so these are the ones that are in there. Man. All right. I'm just trying or, to put you work He wants you to check that. Uh, what is it, 104? The one with Craven on the cover? To see if what it's a popular or a national diamond. He's saying it's a he's, national no, diamond. This is, yeah, he's no, saying. this is a Mark Jeweler. The 104 is a Mark Jeweler. Here you start that one last time. Mark Jeweler. Am I on mute? <laughs> 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 and this is your national diamond. This is your national diamond here. 90 is the national diamond. 104 with Craven on the cover is the Mark Jeweler. That's your national diamond right there. And then we got, and then we got 245 with Black Panther and Daredevil. And then we got 305 with Captain Britain and Captain uh, Captain America. <laughs> now what's the next question? <laughs> No, Nathan said it's just like talking to his kids. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what the hell is the MKJ? Oh, okay, I know. my fault. Well, we at 60. We are at 60, yes, we are. 75. I throw 117, and this is part of the Avengers Defenders uh, War. Ooh. And that's a Mark Jewelers too. Yeah, somebody somebody gave it. Luckily, luckily for y'all, somebody gave this to me. The so seventy five. The so, so seventy five that goes in. Ooh. It's him. I don't consider. I yeah, don't good. consider. I, I guess I see the one tick, so I don't consider a nine four. I see the one tick right there. Hey Bart, can you talk for me? I've got to go chase after my dog really quick. Sure. And, and I don't know if I can copy your voice that well, but we'll try. So really that's like it. Yeah. Everybody wants the ultimate <laughs> number one. I, I'll think about it. And I'm tired. 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 I'm tired.
Where are we at? This is it. Avengers one seventeen. Mark Miller. right now to Nathan's Comic Planet. We got uh, what 31, 30 seconds here. They still got a few more. Uh, I don't have controls to do anything, so all I can do is talk. But uh, um, <laughs> so when uh, at eighteen seconds run out, I guess we're going to an. Uh, yeah, you I got guess. ten seconds now. But uh, since I can't do anything to stop this madness, you can. Uh, and, and if anybody wants to drop uh, an underbid, you know we can continue. Well, we got to go to uh, how many bids we got? We got more than one. Shit, Nathan, I don't know. I mean, Nathan's in there. We got David Brewer still in there. MT, I don't think folded. So the I don't think I've seen a fold yet. Um, so that that clock that's on the screen that's counting down sixty seconds. That's yeah. counting down. <laughs> 60 seconds. I don't see anybody beating with Nathan. Oh, Brewer. Uh, David Brewer's in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, All right. it's, uh, uh, Nathan, it's in right now at 75, he said. Yeah, it's in at 75. I thought I had another one to go with that. Yeah, give me a second. I thought I had another one to go with that. Or maybe that's just the plane without. So he's looking for a book. If y'all don't want to miss out on the timer, you need to throw an underbid in or something. Because I'm looking for a I don't know if I had it. it. The ultimatum Might comes in. The ultimatum comes in at 200. Just yeah, kidding. right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really want that? Oh, I like that little book, but uh, <laughs> if y'all want it, I'm going to put it up next round. Ultimatum will go up next round. How about that? There, I put an underbid in so that you can look for another book. All right, resets that clock. Here we go. All right, this is not a mark. Dude, that's what I was thinking. There we go. There's another little vision book going on. I thought I had two. Oh, here it is. So I'm trying to fill up the, uh, it was 116, 117, 118, 119. So if you've got the Defenders Avengers War, or it's 116, <laughs> 117, 118, 119. We have 75. <laughs> this is a Mark Jula 2. So I got 117 in here for you. Here's 118. What's that coming in? To- Oh, 90 bucks. How about that? 90 bucks. You got to hurry. You have part of the Avengers run and Avengers Nathan Defender Brewer War. has folded. So right now it's just Nathan Comic Planet. I think MT was still in there. I don't think MT folded either. I don't think MT was in it. Oh, he was just he asking $2.11 a long time oh, ago. Okay. Yeah, he, was he bid two right. at the very beginning. <laughs> All right. Unless somebody underbids. That book can come in at ninety dollars. However, I am going to be dropping the end line. Here comes the end line. What's up, Dennis Tran? End line's coming in. That's my boy, Dennis. What's up? There it is. There it is. Uh, the end line, y'all. Nathan, Nathan, since you're the winner, if you want this for set it fifteen, if you want it for ten, it's yours. So your total would be uh, eighty-five instead of because you got a box over here already. So you. It'd be 85 instead of uh, 90 if you want it. Can't beat that with a bat. He said done. Good to go. Done. Good Damn to go. It, tens, if you're going to be this late every time, then I just, I don't know what to do with you. Where's that book that everybody wants? <laughs> the ultimatum? What'd you do with it? Did you hide it already? Uh, yeah, I made a hide it already. <laughs> I, I'll be able to find. I have not been over. I got two short boxes next to me. Send one of these short boxes here. I'm gonna slap <laughs> this short box. All Hide right. it for Just myself. <laughs> Hopefully, I can find it. If I can't find it, I'll put something my laptop. <laughs> I mean, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who was sitting right here? <laughs> and, and watch this and make sure it ain't in his pile. <laughs> All right, right? Yeah, All right. definitely. Yeah, make sure it's not in, in Nathan's pile. He, he, he'd be happy as hell. <laughs> All, All right, right, so Nathan's got a uh, box. It's the uh, that would probably that fills you up on the what's the name. Oh man! Oh, you got no. Oh, thanks right. for getting 
I don't know what to do with this book. Oh, Felix, what do you have for Man, the second round giveaway? I'm I'm a bum, so do you need a minute or do you are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. And I have another copy autographed by the artist, and there that'll be go. the second round giveaway. Nice. All right, guys, you heard it. Here we go. And, and the that's it. And the ultimatum will go up next round at one dollar. Since y'all want the one dollar, it to go up at one dollar. Y'all heard it. One dollar. Dang. See, I might have to break my rule and bid this time because I actually like that book a lot and I don't own one. All right. Good luck, you guys. Good luck. Somebody has a distinct advantage over everybody. Money's on the coin motion. Come on. Oh, I'm going to go with David Brewer. Oh, I think I think I see potential in that that flaming oh, red Oh, Maybe not. Oh my god. <laughs> I think make one. I don't know. Do we need to redo that? All right. Congrats, Nate. This is what you won. One more time. There you are. Look at that, Nate. Congrats. Congrats. Awesome. All You're right. Muted. <laughs> Who won that? Nathan? Yep. Nate's comments. Nathan's comments. Points. Yep. Cool, cool, man. Is that, that, put some is that what that says? Yes. Uh, necromancy. Necromancy, okay. Yeah, the principles of necromancy. The end of it, right on. Yeah, autograph by the artist, and it has this little sketch on it of the main character. Nice. All right, Doc, what you got for the third round here, Doc? Third round is going to be a free here. spot for these two slabs. You guys go free spot right there. All right. All right, let's kick it off. Well, really quick before I do that, let's uh, do this, guys. You can find us on. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday over here on the Affordable Auction. So make sure you guys come check it out. My banner is still on Michael. Okay. Um, make sure you guys come give us a follow over on Facebook and Instagram. Strictly Comics Group with an X. Uh, you guys definitely want to um, go give them a follow over on Facebook because uh, at 100 follows, MT said he was going to give away a slab. So you guys want to make sure you go check that out. Look at this next vintage auction guys is going to be may 5th saturday may 5th the vintage comic auction so you guys are going to want to come check that out i um i unfortunately missed last weekend so hopefully it was a success i'm assuming it was there's always some amazing books that get put up there so um and then the next comic but or the next whale auction i can't talk the next whale auction is going to be april 20th so you guys are going to want to come check us out over here on strictly comics group and then you guys want to go check out our buddies over on the madhouse every monday wednesday and friday and right now i am hosting on friday so come hang out with me on friday i'd greatly appreciate it if you guys haven't please make sure you guys are smashing that like button uh at 75 likes we'll do another giveaway so Marv, take it away yep. Here we go. So the, the the waffle is all full. You can't get in on the waffle anymore. But you I got a couple by it now that I'll show you. And then I have a buyer's choice. It's it's a little bit of a stacker of books. Did you want to, but... did you want to run the race now? Or the... We usually do it at the end, but we can do it now if you want to. It's up to you. I don't, I don't care. It don't matter. I mean, it's going to take a second. Yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't matter to me. I've, I've got it ready. Okay. So, Check this out. Check Go for this it. is something. This is something new. Let me know if this works for y'all. New, new. We like the new, new. Yeah, this is something new. So, look at this. Been brought out of a magic hat. What do you think about that, Barb? Do you yes. like that? Sure. Hey, whatever trips your trigger. <laughs> hey, listen. Y'all like? Y'all okay with this? For the slab spot? For the slab giving? Why not? It's better than frying bacon naked. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we'll go with that. 
All right. Okay, well, how does it work? Let's see. Is it just pull out a name at random? Just random. Ready? Go for it. There it is. <laughs> you won the last one, too. There it is. Right there. There it is. Congratulations, Nick. You're not here, I'm sure, but uh, I'll let him know. That's one of my Instagram guys. Banger. There it is. Banger. Something new. Something new. We don't okay. do those very often. Buy it now first, and then uh, a winner's choice, starting at a dollar next. So first off, I have, this is the trade paperback. It's a big old thickums of uh, Earth One. Batman Earth One Complete Edition. Um, this has a $40 cover price, but you can have it for $10. It looks like it has never been read, so if it was, it was read with the most ginger love that you can possibly give your comic books. $10. Okay, so these are all pairs of books. There's two books in each one. So I have a first print. And I have a second print of the first appearance of Goku, Grogu and the Mandalorian. First appearance in comics. Um, I have this one for 10. I had this one for five. So you can have them both for 15. They're both near mint. Nice high grade copies. If you're into that sort of thing. Ben Batman. All right, you got it, David. I'll set that over here. Uh, next up. This is another high-grade set. I don't think these were ever read. It is the uh, Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect. So you got the first appearance of Maestro in this, and then you have the first cover appearance on number two. These are both embossed, square-bound books. Um, I had number two at 10. I had number one at $15. And uh, I'll do them. If you want both of them, I'll do it for 20 bucks. So I'll knock five bucks off. Those are cool books. Yeah, and I've never owned, like, it's it's kind of hard to find. I've never owned one. That's the first set I've had, and they're super nice. So I was sellers, pretty stoked. Will you please, will you, please check the private chat, sellers, when you get a chance. Sorry, not to interrupt you. I apologize, Barb. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, this neither do I. This is going to be the cameo and first appearance of the Red She-Hulk. So it's, it's Hulk 15 and 16, right? That is 16, right? Yeah. So I got near mint minus on this one and near mint on this one. Um, I had 25 on this and 15 on this, but I will do both of them for $30. That's taking $10 off. If anybody's interested in that. MT's going to take your maestro. Gotcha. Sellers, will you please check the private chat? I have a question in there, please. I need to write that down or else I'll forget. Felix, Doc, can you guys uh, hear me? Yes, I got you. Please check the private chat. And I said 10 on that. Who was it? That, oh, David Brewer got that. $10. Um, the uh, last one I have, we have the Cameo. Of Apocalypse and the first appearance of Apocalypse. I got the cameo is a fine, very fine, so it's not you know super high grade. Uh, first appearance is a VF near mint. Both of these could stand to be pressed and cleaned, especially this one. To get them, it's a very white cover. It definitely could use a cleaning. Um, I had fifty dollars on this and eight dollars on this, but you can have them both for forty-five if you buy them both right now that's the best you're going to get me on that one and that's all of the buy it nows i have right now so i'm gonna do both and in... you you seen that mt wanted both the few hulk or the the hulk right yeah um, yeah i got him okay i figured he was gonna buy the set like i would yeah. buy the set i wouldn't yeah. just get 10 bucks off you can't beat that yeah um okay buyer's choice this is all dark horse star wars books so i really hope there's somebody here who likes dark horse star wars it's may the force be with you 
they're random. Like, there's only a few of each run. There's not whole runs or anything, but they're starting at a buck. So, I mean, you can't lose for a buck, right? So, starting off, we got this is the Air, uh, Knight Errant. I got to know the numbers of these. That's number four. This is uh, Knight Errant number three. This is Knight Errant. Number four, it's a different run though. Shit, I think, yeah, this was the Deluge. And I think the next one is also Deluge, so I mixed them up. But I'm dumb, so it's okay. This is Night, oh, the first set where they were both the Deluge. This is number two from Night Errant. Star Wars, I hope y'all know what this shit is. I don't know what it is. This is uh, Star Wars Invasion Rescues number five. And these are all going to be like BF to near mint minus, probably in that range there. None of them are really beat up. Uh, here's invasion number six. Here is uh, Jedi uh, Legacy War, Star Wars Legacy War number six. And we got this is Legacy War number five. This is this is uh, Star Wars Agent of the Empire Iron Eclipse number two, and Star Wars, of course, Darth Vader and the Lost Command. That's number five. This is uh, Darth Vader and the Lost Command number four, and this is uh, number three. Same run. Then we got uh, Lost Tribes of the Sith Spiral number four. Next up is Crimson Empire three Empire Lost part five of six. Number is number five. Jedi, <laughs> the dark side, the dark side. That's number five. Then. We got Dark Times. This is number two. And then the last one is Star Wars number two, uh, Rebel Heist. That's what it says right there. That's it. I know it's a lot. A lot to choose from. Right now we're at a buck. Mm -hmm. Try and get this where I can do them and they don't all shine for my light i still haven't quite figured out a good place to put my light right there yeah if i hold my i'm like twisting my arm at a weird angle trying to hold these up uh, do just it. stay twisted you're fine <laughs> it's bad enough that i have to like lean out to see what the hell i'm doing right. i guess maybe i should move my camera and then i can just turn and look at the screen yeah maybe Invader covers are nice. Man, is Luigi gonna steal these for a dollar a piece? I mean, whoever does win them, I have actual keys that I got at the same time as these. You know, ones that aren't like these aren't none of these are any kind of key or anything. They're just you know tougher books to find, especially in high grade, and they're all directs. None of them are newsstands. I meant to say that off the bat, but uh, I do have a handful of key books that I got when I picked up all these. Um, if you are interested in them, you can hit me up. I they're in the other room. I didn't bring them out here. I think some Adam of those. Hughes? Yeah, Adam Hughes did some of those covers. Right. Yeah, that's that was, Adam Hughes. No, that's that's not Adam Hughes. I don't. Think, I mean, sure? it looks more like John Tyler Christopher to me than it does Adam Hughes. But I don't he remember. He did a couple of the legacy ones. Yeah. Yeah, Hughes did the first couple of them. Yeah. Um, I don't see a signature anywhere on here. And I know both Hughes and John Tyler Christopher both love to put their signature on all their work. So I don't really know who did that cover. I can find out, but right now is not the time to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I looked at that when I first saw it. I thought it was a John Tyler Christopher cover, but... You only want one. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Doc Cop, I think MT was going to send you that information. Oh. Oh, and uh, I finished this. This is going to be my giveaway for my top spender if I can get the light to hit it just right. That's it's, so uh, cool. Batman <laughs> and in the bat signal. Space all silhouetted. There. There, that looks good. I'm vengeance. It's what I do. <laughs> Have you seen that dude that posts on Instagram that he's like a chunkier guy that does the Batman stuff and he's always talking yeah. about his and all that? <laughs> and so the one he's interviewing um, Aquaman. Do you see that one? No, he did. A, he did it with Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't see it. What, what do you do? Uh, I talk. I communicate with fish. Uh, <laughs> okay, got that. What else do you do? Uh, <laughs> I also communicate with fish. Uh, <laughs> okay, you said that already. <laughs> I've seen the one where he's with that with Superman, which is really funny too. Oh yeah, I can't remember. It. They, they, he has so many of them. <laughs> All right, guys, we got about ten seconds left, and then we do. We are going to go into overtime. We're just going to do a thirty-second overtime, really quick. Yeah, if uh, if if. You're out, Luigi. You can fold, and then I won't have to sit here for another 60 segments. Remember, people, it goes over 100 increments of $5. Okay, guys? Yeah, yeah increments of $5 after 100 Thank you. <laughs> and anybody can claim books, but the whoever is the top spender, the, the top bid, David Brewer right now, will get first choice. He'll get first quack that you can put in your uh, backups in the chat. And then maybe, just maybe... First backup gets it though, so you put your backups in, and right, then drop when he doesn't take. You might be able to get. It. So what's it gonna be, David? Dropping that end line. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Just fair warning. It's coming. I'm gonna show you one more time. I'll go through them. You can pick. We got A. We got B. We got C. So yeah, these first two were the errant that is underneath there. I knew that there was two different. C. And D, and E. I broke the rules. I put in way too many books, but you know what? Yes, you do. I feel like doing it twice. E. Is that upside down? It is. Oh wait, that's that's G. <laughs> H. I. I think the H is upside down too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I know L. the L is for sure. M. <laughs> the M looks the same forward and backward. Yeah. N. <clears throat> o. P. And Q. There you go. Oh, that hurt my back. <laughs> He's going to oh, say, wow. I want them all. <laughs> I want the knight errant. Both of them? I think the they regular were ones or the, like, you want, you want Teddy, these only, two? You only want to three. Or do you want A and B too? These are both the knight errant, the deluge. The deluge. I think he wants all four, but I don't know. We can see. So yeah, just let me know if you just wanted these two, C and D. Because these are the Knights Errant, just the regular Knights Errant. And it's four and two and four. All four. Okay, gotcha, bud. There you go. All David right, Luigi. Here. Luigi said he wanted one. So which one did you want, Luigi? Or did David take them all? The eye, my Is eyes are up and down. Mm -hmm. That's uh, E, F, G, H, I, <laughs> I'm surprised nobody got the Darth Vader ones. Those are the best art anyway. Like the art on those is sick. They look very nice. I like the way that they look. I mean, May the 4th is not that far, far off, guys. 
Just saying. <clears throat> All right. I guess that's, it. that's gonna be it. Okie dokie. If you guys are interested in any of those, message Barb. Yeah. Thank you, Barb. Hit me Appreciate up in the, in the interwebs. Slide on into my go. DMs and uh, message me. Here's Barbarian Kung Fu. It's right here. There you go. There it is. Bangers. Thank you, David. You are the All man. Right, guys. You get a spot on the buyer's giveaway. There you go. That's if really you good. haven't... You if you haven't already, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. That kind of like faded into Barb, didn't it? <laughs> Did you see that? That's kind of weird. Did you see that? Oh, one? Sure. <laughs> the eyes. There's Lucas right. in the house. Hey, wait. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Ooh, do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> all right we're gonna move it on over to felix what you got for us felix all right let's see yes we're a bunch of nerds <laughs> i got a um i gotta buy it now we're, we're um we're wonder tales number one 30 bucks nice high grade uh war as hell number 10 second appearance of death 10 bucks And don't forget about my show coming April 27th, downtown Paso. Yes. All right. Check it out. Anybody's down in Cali. Go oh, check yeah. it out. Give me um nope. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a $25 start. And this is gonna be a builder. Every $25, I'm gonna add another giant size number one. Ooh. So we'll go start off with Giant Size Defenders number one. There we go, Ooh. guys. These are square backs. There you go. How many you got, Felix? What's that? How many you got? Uh, I got three. I got this one. I got giant size man thing number one. Dang. And then I got the giant size spider man. Mm. So every 25, I'll throw in another one. $25. Make you holla. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want some giant size in their life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> into that <laughs> size manatee uh you know <laughs> it's not the size that matters it's the number of pages <laughs> but this says not the size of the worm is how you wiggle the bait <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody want to be your giant size man thing. No diddy. <laughs> more money, more problems. I'm telling you. <laughs> Poor guy. I know. Right? Size defenders number one, people. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. Every $25 brings in another Defenders. This, this alone is like a $50, $60 book by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Is that square bound? Yeah, they're all square. They're all square bounds. Actually, no. not The Giant Size Superheroes Spider Man is not a square bound. Oh. It's just, oh, wow. it's just giant size. But this one is the giant size man thing is. There you guys go. $25. $75 brings in the whole lot, guys. Oh, yeah. Get in on that. Don't sleep. 
And then if it was gonna go through all the way, I was gonna throw in this one at the top. Ooh. Last issue of Tomb of Dracula. That's a two, two and one. Thank you, Mr. Jim Shooter for canceling Tomb of Dracula. <laughs> Giant size number one defenders, 25 bucks. Don't nobody want to see your giant size man thing? <laughs> man, you guys are missing out. <laughs> All right, guys, get in on this. Got about two minutes left on the timer. I'll be sleeping. Mm. I got number two, too. See, number look two at it. It's a builder, guys. We could build all night. I got the Dracula Bondage cover. There you go. And then the cover appearance of the YMCA Karate Instructor. <laughs> No one's feeling the giant size, huh? Everybody wants normal. I guess. Normal size. They're missing out. They be sleeping. About 40 seconds left, y'all. Did everybody go to sleep or what here, guys? Nobody's talking. <laughs> Nobody's making comments. Crazy. Everybody's pretty quiet tonight. I think They're probably a little bit taking prices. Like, let me see that. I, th I think you scared him with the, the giant size. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I only got one camera. All right, guys, if you are interested, um, make sure you guys hit him up in the DMs. I am throwing the wrong banner, so we'll flip, flip it over really quick. You guys can message him. Um, he does press and clean books, guys, so any book that he does sell, he does like to make sure it goes out properly. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the end line, but you guys make sure you hit him up in the DMs oh, yeah. if you guys see a book that you're interested in. I'm sure he's going to sell some of these in the DMs. Oh, yeah. And this is the uh, blue cover. Yeah. So. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. You're sleeping. Yeah. And that's oh. going to be my last round tonight because um, I got to get up pretty early. So can uh, I, um, just remember my show coming up. And if you guys saw something on tonight, please hit me up on the DMs. We can work something out. Appreciate you. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> Thank you, Felix. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next time. Buenas noches. All right, Doc. What you got for us? Hey, that was some good stuff that went by. I'm surprised no one grabbed it. I know. Everybody's sleeping. Oh, yeah. So we got 13 spots left on the two slab waffle. Again, Son of Satan, number one, 9.2 white pages. And the uh, Marvel Spotlight, number 12, Origin of Son of Satan. 8.0 white pages, both CGC, $10 a spot, only 15 spots total, so your chances of winning are pretty good. Uh, I guess I'm buy it now, so I got very high grade, uh, Punisher number one, two, three, four, and five, the whole series. This is $85, buy it now, all five issues. And again, this is a this is a really really high grade number one. I have a uh, a buy it now slab. It's an eight point five off white to white pages CGC. This is the the first issue of um, Hands of Shang Chi Master Kung Fu. So before this issue was. 
uh, Marvel Special Edition 15, his first appearance, and then 16, and then it went to the title of Han Chi, uh, Hands of Shang Chi, Master of Kung Fu number 17. So this is considered the first issue. It's, it's denoted first issue, and this is sixty dollars. Buy it now. It's also the first appearance of Black Jack Tar. And this one's killing me to put it up, but I got a 7.5. Uh, this is cream to, to off-white pages, and this is uh, CGC, oh. Captain America 100, 7.5. This is $400, buy it now. Anybody's looking for some big boy books? Wow. I have a Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 136. This is a... Uh, this is a VF Plus copy. This is uh, Harry Osborn's first appearance as the uh, Green Goblin. This is a key. And this is $100 buy it now. It's well below fair market value. Classic Romita cover. I got a 9.6 copy of Batman the Killing Joke first print. And this is $65 buy it now. For those DC fans. I have a Marvel feature number four. I've showed this before, but this is really a sleeper book. This is the return of Hank Pym as Ant-Man. Again, this is a Silver Age book. It's it's in really great shape. Um, so it's a black bordered book and there are no ticks. And this is $40 buy it now. Classic cover. I have a Fantastic Four 99. This is a, a fine copy and this is a $15 buy it now. Number 99. All right, that's from my buy it now. So if, if anyone was interested, uh, I do have this Falcon for five dollars. This is a uh, this is actually Captain America number twenty five. Um, now Alex Ross cover with the Falcon. Five dollar buy it now. Great cover. All right, we're going to start this next bundle off at eight dollars starting bid an auction, right. and it's going to include the uh, Josh Middleton. Batgirl number 25 cover. It's a classic cover. Mm -hmm. It's going to include Batman Year 3, Part 3 of 4, issue number 438. This is a high grade. This is also including Batman Year 3, Part 4 of 4, Batman number 439, high grade. And this is including a uh, Batman 122, which is first appearance of Angel Breaker. Again, these are all high grade issues, and it's all of them come in at eight dollars starting bid. Wow! All right, guys, eight dollars starting bid for some DC goodness. That Josh Middleton's a twenty thirty dollar book itself. Yes, yeah, CS is in at eight. It's a great cover. What I like about this issue, it's, it's not only the first appearance, but the first cover appearance of Angel Breaker. That Batgirl is so pretty. Yeah, Such it's a really great, great job. cover. Absolutely love it. Get in on this, guys. Don't let TSCS steal this away. 
BSCS, if you're interested in at $70, I'll bring this bad boy in. There you go. First print. That's Something good to have in your collection for sure. Great story. I don't know if you read it. It's really good. We got about three minutes left, you guys. Get in here, challenge TSCS. And if anyone see, if you saw something I was showing and uh, you want to hit me up on my IG, it's Doc Cop Comics. Thank you. Yes, scrolling down there on the bottom. Did everybody fall asleep on us or what? Or is there everybody waiting for Uncle Roman's ultimatum? Is he going to put okay, that I'm up? Back. Everybody's sleeping tonight, Barb. You put them all what to sleep the... or something. Somebody needs to wake him up. All right. Do I got to take my shirt off? MT's going to take one of your waffle spots. It's $2 a book. It's a steal. You did hear me, right? MT's going to take one of your waffle spots. You got it, MT. Sorry, I'm playing with the sounds. Don't mind me. <laughs> that was not geared towards you, Doc, at all. So please don't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no offense taken. Right. There. <laughs> it just like went quiet on us. So I was like, oh, music's not playing. TSDS is going to steal this lot. All right, guys, don't forget to check out his Buy It Nows. He has a Captain America 100 slab. Woo! That would be a great book. That should be, that sound effect should be playing during Paul's auctions, just, the, just on repeat. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get on one of those whale auctions. I got some big boy books that I like to put up. Yeah, you should. You should. You got that Captain America 100. Oof. Just that book alone. You want to see that killing joke one more time? Yeah. Again, this is the first print. All right. The timer did expire. I'm going to go ahead and drop that end line. TSCS is going to take the plot for $8 plus. <clears throat> and you have the option of being able to upgrade to 70 for that filling jump if you're interested. So. Otherwise, if someone wants this at 65, put me up on IG, okay? There we go. Thanks, okay. TSCS anything he put up put him up on IG for sure so all right we're gonna go on over to this um I have to ask how's the kiddo I haven't heard about you talking about the kiddo how's that baby <laughs> the baby is awesome actually right. thank you for asking um unfortunately we're gonna have to get tubes he's had some oh, rough no. times with ear infections but oh. uh you know, it's part of the process, and yeah, it considering we were in the NICU for nine days when everything started, that's the least of our worries, right? Of what yep. could end up happening. So, I'm uh, I'm happy with where we're at. Good. Um, 
let's see. I'm going to go ahead and skip by it now for this round. It doesn't seem people are really into, uh, into DC tonight, which is fine. Um, you never know. You never know. They might put that put up that Grail book. You, you might put up that that one book that they've been looking for. I mean, David Anderson. I mean, I could I could run and grab you know my Batman one eighty one with the pin up in there. Or, there we go. Yeah, yeah. You know one eighty nine. Yeah. You know see. Scarecrow. I could. Yeah. I could pull out some crazy books, but. Yeah, let's do know. it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah. <laughs> Moonlight special, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so let's go oh, ahead and do. Right? <laughs> so what I did with ASM, I'm going to go ahead and do with Uncanny X Men. So let's go ahead and start with five dollars. All right. And uh, this is the first appearance of Colossus's sister and Sim. This is Uncanny X Men 160. Ooh. Is MT in the chat? So. We'll start with five dollars, and each increment of five dollars will bring in another Uncanny X Men book. Uh, this five dollars, guys. Where we start? That's a steal right there. And I'll remember to put up the light or the the timer on this one. How's that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and crack toast. I am a big Batman guy. I have a ton, ton of silver dc right now batman action comics superman brave and the bold that kind of stuff just you know meant probably meant for a different auction oh uh, not necessarily hmm. <laughs> depends on who's buying right that's true yes uh the next book to come in would be uh, Uncanny X-Men 169, which is first Callisto and first team appearance of Morlocks. So at $10, that would come in. I know Doctor needs to get it, too. Okay, now what's our head? So, first Callisto and first team appearance of the Morlocks. So, both of these are in at $10. At $15, um, this, is kind of a, this is kind of a niche book. But it'll be Uncanny X-Men 196. It is a newsstand copy. This is where Kitty Pride, after being called a mutey, responds to her person using the N-word. Oh. So, controversial issue here. Oh boy. 15 will bring that issue in. But, yeah, I was not aware of that book. That was an interesting thing to, to read. Wow. So if we get it to 15, that'll bring in that book. All right, guys, we're at three minutes. Oh, he says, all right, let's throw that book in. All right. So that brings in this book. The next book to be included is X-Men 210, Uncanny X-Men 210, which is the first cameo appearance of the Marauders. So if it gets to $20, that book will come in. And then, of course, after that one would be, you know, how could you have the cameo without the first full appearance of the Marauders? Ooh. But we'll see if anybody else likes X-Men. Let's see. Surprise, mm -hmm. MT's not in here, big. Well, he's probably not even paying attention. Nah. He's probably working on a faucet again or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a cop actually came in at twenty before. Okay, so not... twenty dollars brings in first cameo of the Marauders. Twenty-five, as promised, right. will bring in the full appearance of the Marauders. 
So if we get this, oh, there it is. There you go. So, brings in that one. Uh, another $5 will bring in uh, X-Men 2, Uncanny X-Men 222, which is the battle between the X-Men and the Marauders. Wow. No. Oh, we're already there. You are. Yeah. If we get this to 35, we'll bring in uh, Uncanny X-Men 229. This is the first appearance of the Reavers, first Tiger Tiger, and first the Gateway. So if we get that to 35, and brings in that issue. Okinawa is going to come in at 35. Okay. So then that brings in this issue here. Um, next issue to be brought in would be Uncanny X-Men 249. This is the first appearance of Whiteout, who is a mutate from the Savage Land. So that one comes in at 40. Yes. So... At 40, that one would come out. All right, since we do have multiple bidders, we are going to be going into overtime. The clock did just reset. Forgive me, guys, just a minute. It looks like he is in at 40, so the next book to come in is... Okay. So, 40. Brought in 249. Um, at 45, would we'll bring in Uncanny X-Men number 261. This is uh, first team appearance of Hard Case and the Harriers. So 45, I'm going to bring that one in. Hey, okay. Teresa, did you pick out this music? I did. Man, this stuff's hitting. I know, I'm jamming. I'm jamming. I know, I'm over here like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm, at, like, I'm at a metal show. I love it. Good <laughs> stuff. None of that sissy music like they play on uh, the, the, the pop-up auction. <laughs> All right, 15 <laughs> seconds left. We got Top Cop in the lead for $41. Is he going to stay 45 to bring on that next book? It is a builder, guys. It is. Otherwise, we'll be dropping this end line here. <clears throat> I feel like right. I need to go grab my guitar and try and learn how to play this real quick. Okay, okay 45. 45, so that resets that clock one more time. So that brings this in. All right. Um, if we get this to 50, that'll bring in Uncanny X-Men number 273. This is the first fight between Wolverine and Gambit. Ooh. So if we want to get that to 50... That one comes in at 50, guys. Actually, it is a good soundtrack, whatever this is. Mm hmm. All right, we've got 10 seconds left, guys, on that timer. Okinawa is in the lead. Oh, that dot cap, dollar fifth. bid. That drop, or that resets that clock one more time. $50 to bring in the next one. All Thank you, yeah,
All right. Ten seconds left. Five seconds left. <clears throat> I'm going to be dropping that end line, guys. Here comes that end line. It looks like Doc Cop is going to take this one. Here it goes. Dropping that end line now. There we go. There it is. There it is. All right, Doc Cop, thank you. Um, if there's any interest, the remaining books would have been, like I said, first Wolverine and Gambit, uh, first cameo of uh, first cameo of team appearance of Phalanx, first Executioner, who was featured in the second hmm. episode of X-Men 97, and the second appearance of Shroud. So if you wanted to add 25 to your total to get those two, just let me know. All right. Hello. Otherwise, Instagram. 46 for these. Thank you. Nice, nice lot. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. All right. We're going to move it on over to Roman Curtis. Is Ultimatum coming in? Is Ultimatum coming in? Yeah. We want to know. Mm hmm. Ooh, boy. Roman Curtis, you good, sir? Are you ready to rock and roll? Something like that. All right. Uh, One dollar starting me. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Is Yahweh still here? Or did he pass, pass out? Who knows? <laughs> Um, yeah, I said one dollar starting bid. Um, let's go. Let me see. I think it's a, it's a nine. I think it's a nine two. Yeah, right there, they can be pressed out. There's nothing one right there, they can be pressed out. They get you up to nine. Four, nine, six, nine, eight, somewhere around there. No creases in the spine. The problem with it is you can see that right there. I'm flashing the light on. And the smaller one right there. Legitimate pressure to get all that out for you. So I got a nine two right now. One dollar starting bid. You always in at 20. He was see waiting. Again, yeah, if you can see it. See that right there, that little crease right there? They gotta be pressed out in that one right there. So I got an nine too. So the, any any average pressure should be to get them little the two little creases out. It gets you nine forward or whatever. That's what's wrong with the book. Bard went to fifty. Yeah, this this is I've actually been looking for that book for a while. <laughs> Every time somebody be it, I show the Two little Pizza. defects. And I got a nine two. If you can see that when you get back on. Okay, Nagua is in at sixty. You see that little crease there? It's another one right here. It can easily be pressed out by a legitimate presser. You get the real value on the book. One in one hundred by pinch. One in one hundred by fence. I got it in nine two. It's got two little easy creases that can be pressed out. Let's see where you go from there. Barb's in at seventy five. Mm -hmm. I need to light it. Nothing wrong with the spine, nothing wrong with the back, and the color rub. Just look at them. Two little creases, they gotta be pressed out. All right, guys, got three minutes left. Plenty of time on that auction lot, guys. Plenty of time on that auction lot. Yeah, you got time. Look up what this thing goes for graded, even at a 9 2. Like, it's still way under. I'm not going to bid anymore either. I'm, I'm 75 bucks is a steal. So someone should uh, definitely outbid me. But at the same time, 
I hope I win it for seventy five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I have to do yeah, it. Mean, it's it's big. Easily a hundred and fifty dollar bug. Then you got you gotta get a little press on it and you never know what you do if you get it graded. Yeah. I mean I think I saw a nine six on there for like three hundred and some bucks that it sold for. Yeah. There's a asking for eight an eight five for over two hundred. Yeah, wow. but there's crazy crackheads out there that'll ask anything for anything, so you can't really put too much that's, stuff. Uh, on. But that's my comic man. shop. My comic shop raises the price when they sell them on eBay. So <laughs> my comic shop, if you go to my comic shop, that two twenty is really one ninety. <laughs> best offer. <laughs> 190 best offer really that's what that is oh, if you go to the person selling my comic oh, shop, my comic shop puts books on ebay but they raised the price yeah one in a hundred huh? i didn't know that they yeah. raised the prices though i've, I've yeah, had they, stuff they raised, on my they, they, uh, yeah they raised prices drastically so it, i mean i know it, they it, probably got to compensate for the fees and all that stuff so it makes that's sense a, that's actually i think it was, that's a confinement book so it's a uh, no. 189 is 35 cent or best off. They sell that book for somebody. Call, man, they call it an 8 5. That means it might be a 9 0 9 2 that needs to be fresh. <laughs> All right, Barb, I'm going to step away for just a second. We've got two minutes on the clock. so Okay, just drop the end line. I'm done. <laughs> well, I'll be back. Right back. I got you. Oh. Looks like you're going to win. Oh, yes, we got to go to Overcast. Uh, yeah, I'm sure bit. they're looking it up and just debating right now, but it's definitely. Three bidders. So this thing, I got. On the bone there. I got uh, 19, 18 seconds left when it comes back. The 60 second it'll, it'll start back at three minutes, so I guess uh, that's how we keep tracking it over time when it hits zero. I guess we didn't do it this time. Okay, so when it hits four minutes, that'll be it for overtime. So nobody else be it. When I guess down to four minutes because she stepped away. That's the uh, overtime. So, if you see four minutes is forty whatever or fifty whatever seconds left, when it gets down to four minutes, clock gets down to four minutes. That's the end of overtime. The first sixty minutes, and nobody makes a bid. Yeah, you got thirty seconds left. If you're still looking it up, I suggest you drop an under bid. All right, I'm back. That was quick. All right, put the inline in. Well, we got 30 seconds left. You don't want to. Oh, did... nobody's bidding. You got 30 seconds on the we timer. Are, we are. Also... You see that timer up in the top right there? Yeah. It's 348. We counted it down yeah. from five minutes to four minutes for 60 seconds. Nobody bid it. We told everybody while we were still repeating it. Why does my so, clock say 10 seconds? I don't know. I don't I'm see it. Your clock, it wasn't right. two minutes when you got up. We were at we were hunting it under thirty seconds when you got up. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead and I drop that you know, on. That All right. Here it comes. Yeah, I, End line's coming in, guys. Here it is. What do you see right now? Yeah, what do you see, see four right now? And, four minutes and fifty four seconds or whatever. That's weird. I Brian, see three minutes see? and thirteen seconds. That's what I see, three minutes and thirteen seconds. Now I don't see anything. It's gone. It's gone. I don't know what happened that one. Marvin, this is yours. We, we hook up. I appreciate it, man. That's a good book. Thanks to everybody in the chat for letting me get that. It's for my friend Mo, who had to sell his comic book collection because he uh, got laid off during COVID and hadn't been able to recover. And he had to sell that book. And I know how much he loves that book. So that's going to my buddy mm -hmm. Mo. Wow. 
That was weird. I wonder why, I, you, I wonder why your clock is so far off. It, wasn't too, it was me and him were under 30 <laughs> seconds. When you got it, what No, we're looking at YouTube. That's why. No, I'm looking at, I only got StreamYard up. Oh, weird. Weird. I don't know. Really weird. Keep track of that. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, this is for a spot on dot cop slap dot cop. Did you want to give it to somebody in the chat? Your spot or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me give it to, uh, let me give it to, is, is Mr. Collector still around? Oh, no, I haven't know. seen, I'm, haven't I'm, seen I'm, him in a while. How about David Reese? Is he still there? David Reese, sound off. Hey, Teresa, give uh, give this spot I have to Okinawa Jarhead. Okay. David Reese, sound off. Is he there? Or no. No, I don't. All right, give my spot to uh, TSCS. All right. Here we go, guys. Good luck. This is for a spot on the slab. Here we go. One, two, and three. Want to say your goodbyes to yeah i'm out of here guys i appreciate everyone who bid tonight and guys who just hung around so had a good time it's always a good time i'll uh, see you guys soon and, and again if you want from me just hit me up on on instagram i usually get my books out within a day or two so i appreciate you guys take care and have a great night thanks doc we'll see you next tuesday you got it all right michael do you have the next round to give away Ooh, there we go. Iceman number one. Iceman number one. Because why not? All right. Okay, then uh, we're going to jump on over to Bart. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you guys go. And if sellers, if you guys can check the um, private chat, I'd appreciate it. And then Bart, what's up, bro? Okay, I'm going to show a couple Buy It Nows that are Star Wars books that I pulled out. I got them at the same time as the other ones, but these were all ones that I don't. I didn't write down what the key is in them, so can't help you there. There's literally keys in almost every Star Wars book. They always put new people in, but most of these are really cheap. Um, you got this here, Star Wars, uh, Dawn of the Jedi, Force Storm, number four. Uh... That's a near mint minus copy for three dollars. Then we got this uh, legacy number forty-seven, uh, near mint minus copy, three dollars. This is Darth Maul Death Sentence number two. It's a VF near mint copy for three dollars. Um, this one's five dollars. This is Star Wars uh, Vader and the Ghost Prison number one, right? Yeah, number one, and that's a near mint minus. Uh, next up, this is uh, five dollars. Also, it's uh, 
Old Republic, Star Wars The Old Republic number four. Uh, BF Near Mint for five dollars. Then we got Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Four Storm number five. Near Mint minus copy for eight dollars. I don't really remember why. Stick uh, around, Colorado. Another old, um, old Republic number five. Uh, VF Near Mint copy, eight dollars. So if anybody interested in any of those, I just grabbed this. I bought this book this past week. I was debating on keeping it. I like magazines, especially the old horror magazines. But I got this with some other ones. And uh, I'm just not like, I'm not a big collector of like Warren stuff, but you know, Vampirilla and Panther and all that. But uh, this Warren presents number eight. And it's, uh, it's like previewing Panther as, it's not her first appearance or anything, but it's the first Warren magazine with Panther on it. And this is a really nice copy. Um, I'd say it's probably VF near mint. It's it's got some dings. I guess they don't grade against it when the staples push up to the, the cover, but there's a couple little ticks in it. But uh, if anybody's interested in that, I, I'd do like five bucks on it. Um, it is a magazine, so it's bigger. It won't fit in a Gemini. Um, so okay, now why it wants to bend all your Star Wars? Oh, word. Okay. Um. Yeah, but five bucks for that if anybody's interested in that. I appreciate that, Okinawa Jarhead. Hey, he's up next, Wilverado, so stay tuned. Seriously, he needs to get some, some grief. Um, I had a bunch. Um, I don't know if you see if you was here in the last one. If you're interested in any of the Star Wars books from the last round that were left over, I think they were two dollars each is what they were like just hit me up i'll make you a good deal on them but you'll have to watch it in the rewind and i also had these are ones i haven't gotten a chance to price and grade these um i know they're all keys of some kind um like i know for sure like this is a somewhat valuable book it goes for like 20 or 30 dollars near mint um, I got show you these in case you're interested, anybody really is interested in any of these. I can't, I can't put a price on these yet because I don't know the grades. But once I grade them, I'll have prices for them. So if you are interested in any of them, um, you can hit me up. This is number one. I wasn't saying anything about them while I was talking. <laughs> this is Lost Tribes of the Sith, number one. Um, that was uh, Old Republic 4. Are those um, the ones that you showed last round? Because he said he'll check it out. No, Just no. These are out. totally different ones. Okay. All these right. are the ones last round I said I had better ones that I got in the whole. I bought a collection of them, basically. It was all Dark Horse Star Wars. And uh, these were the ones, like the ones when I go through, I, when I get a collection, I go through Key Collector. If there's any keys, like actual keys and not just like, this is a $3 book, then I pull them off to the side. And that's what these were. Same with the other ones. They had some kind of key in them, too. I just can't remember what they are. Um, but for auction, let's do a filler lot. This is all Incredible Hulk books. Since there's been so much heat on Incredible Hulk. <laughs> that was sarcasm, dripping. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five books. So the all-in would be $30. Every three dollars brings in a new book, so we started at three dollars. Uh, first book is Hulk number 196. I don't believe that any of these are any well, no, I can't say there's not any keys, I just don't know. I know one of them is a key, it's the first time the green, the gray Hulk comes back, but it's three bucks starting out. Uh, this I is a fine plus copy. Um, I'll go ahead and show you all the books. Um, but this is the first one in at $3. Uh, the next one is number 232, where he's with, with cap, the VF minus copy. And then you have number 249. That's a fine, very fine copy. It looks like a bunch of ice dudes with mohawks. 
And then this is uh, two, uh, 324, that's where the Gray Hulk returns. It's got that Hulk 1 cover swipe. And then the last one is my favorite ho uh, Christmas book ever. It's uh, 378, where the Hulk is fighting Santa Claus. And that's a VF near mint copy of that one. So three bucks a book, 30 bucks is the haul in. And it's starting with that. I don't know. People might not even be interested in this. If, uh, if there's no bids by the time we get to two minutes, then I have some Turtles books that I could put up in place of these. If anybody's into the Mirage Studios TMNT, like Volume 1, it's not a number one, but there's just some of those books that I have sitting here. Some of the end ones, City at War, couple of the City at War storyline books and then a couple of the earlier ones. Did Santa fight back? You know, it looks like Santa's holding his own. He's got a freaking crowbar. <laughs> he's about to lay down on the Hulk. The Hulk's got that face that he's like, ah, he's got glass sticking in him and everything. <laughs> Santa looks freaking... He's pissed though. Look at that. Santa is not... He's on the naughty list for sure. Wow. Man. Huh. Yeah, I like it. That's my favorite Santa Claus cover. <laughs> There's some good ones out there, but that's my favorite. Here's the next book at $6. And then that one comes in at $9. And then that one comes in at $12. And then that one comes in at 15 Wait, it's $15. Three books. Yeah, fifteen dollars is the all-in. What am I talking about? That's ten dollars a book. Wait, Man. that's ten books. Yeah, it's fifteen dollars. Is the I'm stupid. You know, math. I don't know math that good. <coughs> good thing there's a math teacher on the panel. <laughs> you well, tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you didn't catch that thing. <laughs> He was sleeping. Well, to be fair, I was digging out some books to show off here in the next gotcha. round. But... Okay, well, Okinawa came in at 15, so he, he did. Me. He was like, okay, that sounds better. I'll, I'll take Yeah, that sounds way better. <laughs> not 30. <laughs> That's like, just the smoking, best one. You smoking something, Mark. No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody ought to be. Right? There's a fat Hulk. He's a business casual Hulk. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I wish I had some more Hulk books laying around. I could throw some more in. I, I, I don't think. I think the only other Hulk book I had was that. Uh, what's his face? That McFarlane cover, and it sold. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Unfortunately, I don't have another one. I don't have a 180 or a 181 or. 182. I can change the numbers on uh, on the first one though. It kind of looks like it has the same angled rocker up there. The Santa Claus one is definitely the best one. And he's wrecking the trade dress. See, I have a thing for like weird cover, you know, collections. People do that, you know. Um, Wreck the Trade Dress is one of those things that I love seeing, like when the characters interact with the trade dress. I think it's so cool. Um, yeah, I can show them to you if you're interested in them. There's uh, the, the City at War. This is number 60. I think that's the oldest one. And then I have number 55. Those are the only two parts I have in that. That's like right there at the end. Um, this is number 15, and then I have a number 40, 
And then number, what is that? 42. Those, those low print or lower number TMNTs are hard to find, just FYI. What was your... Yeah, the 15 is uh, is the most expensive one I have. That one I had it for 15, or I had it for 20 bucks. And it's a uh, fine, very fine. What um, was all in for that? Okay, guys, we're in overtime. Oh, I, uh, let's see, that would be... I'm going to go ahead and drop the end line. The timer Wait. has expired. So I, I have them priced at, it would be $40 for all of them. But if you're interested in getting them all, I'll do it for 30. That's for all five books. There you go. That pretty would much. be $5 a book then. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. Boom. Yeah. There's the math. Yeah. Okay. David Brewer, I got you. There $16. it is. $16. All right, guys. We're going to jump on over to one of our last sellers of the evening. Not the final, but one of the last. Is this our last round? Or are we not going to go another one? Yeah, no. Okay. So there's only three, y'all. So. That's fine. Um, All right. Carry in the squad. Uh, Did you have something? Nathan's Comic Planet is my big spender winner. So you get that, Nathan. You're there still we go. here. Congrats, congrats. All right, we're going to jump on over to the master himself. Oop. All right, so last bit of buy it nows. I have a Vampirella pinup special number one. And this is by Adam Hughes. So Adam Hughes cover on there. And then Vampirella Strikes, number one. I will do $10 right now for both of those. Um, someone was screaming Batman in the chat earlier. So I have a Damian Wayne buy it now lot here. I have Batman 655. Ooh. First cameo appearance of Damian Wayne, $45 buy it now. I have 656 first full appearance of Damian Wayne, $65 buy it now. And I have Battle for the Cowl number three, this is first Damian Wayne as Robin, for $10 buy it now. Or I'll do all three for $100. What's up, Chris? All three for 100 And then, just for funsies, I was mentioning some kind of bigger books earlier, right? Oh! baby no oh you know oh just just not damn. that it was all talk you know I damn mean, just wanted to bring up some you know but anyway i digress so this is the round giveaway by the way ice man number one um go ahead and put a dollar start bid it's a three book lot uh, just kind of a fun, random lot. We have What If, number 42. This is What If Spider-Man Had Kept His Six Arms. In a new stand. Uh, this is What If, number 45. What If Barbara Ketch Could Become Ghost Rider. And then Spider-Man 2099, number one. Wow, for a dollar? The, yeah, for those of us that stuck for stuck around this long, 34 in the yeah. chat, thank you. Hopefully you hit the like button. Dollar start on this. Wow. I love nice what if Nice 90s books. goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just like DC Elseworlds. Writers yeah. were able to have fun. Yeah. Didn't have editorial oversight holding them back on what they wanted to do. Yep. Yeah. So. Yep, I love the what if runs. It's great. Yes. So many first appearances too, but that's because but there are a lot of first appearances. In there. <laughs> exactly. But like I said, it's because of the writer. Mm. Or because of the run or whatever. I don't yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Right. T S C S N <laughs> at a dollar. Where are you going, Where are you going, Wolverado's in it too. He was like, is that Michael? Yeah, I see. 
earlier. I was like, yes, yeah, no, Wolverado a long time. Yeah, I used to, uh, good dude. I used to banter in the Chino Comics and More comment section back in the day. <laughs> What's up, Wolverado? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, you know what? I'm slacking, sleeping. Forget the timer again. <laughs> only for you. Only for you. <laughs> I know, apparently. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry. It happens. It happens. I'm more thinking. This is probably on the train on his way home, David, so. All right, guys. <clears throat> we got about two minutes left. Good little lot to end the night. Right? I mean, who doesn't want three books for a dollar each? That's what I'm saying. Right? That's where we're at right now. Well, especially this guy that, like, blew up for that Miles movie. Yeah. Yep. Spider-Man 2099. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, speaking It was of, nice to see a character I loved when I was a kid that was so obscure get his due in the mainstream media. Yeah. It was nice to see that. Speaking of, I've got a giveaway for us talking about spider-man y'all let's do this really quick what do we got what do we got what do we got in roman we trust yes <laughs> yes in roman we trust there it is start we'll calling sleep aids at home uncle roman serum right in roman <laughs> we trust <laughs> See how many people are still awake this time of night. That's what I'm saying. How many people just have their browser open? Their... Right? Yeah, exactly. Let's have the live video on there. <laughs> David Brewer, you want enough tonight. <laughs> what a troll. <laughs> there ain't no participation trophies on this show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We have about 20 seconds left in the auction, but we will do a little 30 second overtime to give everybody an opportunity if they're interested in challenging TSCS. $3 right now. We can go higher, guys. Go higher. You might throw in other books. You never know. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 30 second timer starts now. Let's do it. Wolverado says four. Four. He's willing to right spend there? more than a dollar a book. I know. He reset that timer. There we go. He goes, I'll give you 25 cents extra or 30 cents, 33 cents extra. There you go. Yep. I mean, you get an AF15 cover swipe for $4. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have that framed yeah. on my wall. Right there. Oh, that's a newsstand too, huh? Yeah. Yep. All name. right. Yeah, Heiner, has ex Oop. Heiner has expired. We're going to go ahead and drop that end line. It looks like Wolverado. Yeah, Wolverado, Wolverado is the winner. Wolverado. Awesome. Wins. It's affordable. We'll say that. Thank you. Wolverado, that's I know it's been a long time, but I hope you still remember how to get a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate I it, man. Thank you. All right, guys, if you haven't, in Roman we trust right here. Let's do it. We're going to jump on over to Roman as it is. Are you ready to rock and roll for our last round? And then you can go back in your nice, cozy bed, Roman. 
<laughs> He's like, yep, let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was watching well, on Instagram. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> It was hilarious. Y'all got that stuff playing. I'm over here listening to Rock Historian on Instagram. Make sure you know when I'm listening to Will Ferrell is goddamn cool. I swear Will Ferrell is a goddamn cool. <laughs> so they, they got Rock Historian and they Christopher Walken on there. Will Ferrell is playing the cowbell part of the rock band. The whole, <laughs> rock, band, like, the whole rock band is like, hey man, can you do something with this motherfucker, please? Christopher <laughs> Walken is like, no, he, he, he's making it happen. He's doing nothing but playing the goddamn cowbell. He's playing the cowbell. The music sounds good. It's 70 music. He's playing the cow. You know, he's all over everybody, too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, what we got here? I, I, I got the Star Wars book somewhere. The whole set. The whole set. Where's the whole set? This is, yeah, here we go. One, two, three. I'll throw this in. All right. Uh, did that right? Hopefully, I wrote it on the back. Oh, look at all the stuff I was supposed to read to y'all to let you know what's in it. <laughs> uh, you ain't getting it. Um, <laughs> goddamn Star Wars book. This is Dark Book. You get a Star Wars book with first appearances and stuff. I'm supposed to read all that to y'all. Right. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I said I didn't write any right. of that stuff down. There's too many of them. <laughs> I know that, that one. Okay. It was, yeah, that's just one book. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Jeez. All right, I'll try to do it anyway because you know it's uh work. You know, I'm trying to sell it. So let's see. First off, we have a set of Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith Spiral. So that's issue one. Issue one. <laughs> oh no, it's, why we, it's five issues. Five issues, I'm sorry. Keep it aside. It's gonna take me a second. It's gonna take me a second here to get focused. Issue one. Lost Tribe of the Star Wars Spiral. <sighs> From 2012, Chegg, the first <laughs> captain of the, of the Southern Star. Kakara uh, Hilts. A descendant of the first Sith Empire, Calicia, a descendant of the ancient Dark Jedi, and Harlan Death Spinner, a member of the Lost Tribe of the Sith. So you got four first appearances. This is big right, so I can make sure I can see it right myself. That's issue one. Issue two, Remulus, uh, Dreya. Dre Remulus Drea, a dark, uh, dark Jedi exile from the Jedi Order. And let's see what else we got here. Went on to conquer uh, Corban. She went on to conquer Corban. First appearance in there. That's two. That's issue two. Here's issue three. Hey, how's the picture? I'm getting the aspect. It's not too bad. I took, I took the temporary files out, but it has to be defragged. It has been defragged for four years. They're four years worth of temporary fight. That was four. And here is issue five. Well, I didn't even get a start to this. Hey, put 20, $25 down. All right. All right. It's uh, going to be seven books. This one here is, that was something. This one here is just one book, but you got to get the rest of them. But uh, Crimson Empire. That's issue one. Oh, man. I thought I was had to read. <laughs> Uh, Kirk Canos, former member of Palpatine's Royal Guard, who later took the name Kenex Kill as a body bounty hunter, first appearance in this book. And Cardio J, former member of the Royal Guard, who proclaimed himself a Dark Lord of the Sith. So, welcome to the first appearance That's in this book. And the last book that will be number seven in this lot is a reprint of Star Wars number one. I, no, this might not be. Oh, it's a witness, so it might have been the one that was in the three pack. 
Let's see, Diamond Air might have been the one that was in the three pack. Yeah, I think that's $25. $25 starting bid. They're going to have one, two, three, four, five first appearances in the five book series here, which is called uh, uh, um, Lost Tribe of the Sith Spiral. I only got the one book for the Crimson Empire, two first appearances in that, and we got the the reprint of the, it might be the second print of uh what would you call it it was the book that was in the, the three packs of the whitman star wars number one that's a 30 cent or a 35 cent i think 35 cent 35 cent okay yeah i'm not sure some of them say rent print or something right here but this one is not saying anything there yeah it's got with, no the barcode. Blank, with the blank barcode and it not saying reprint i think it came in the bag it would have been a later one at 35, but it would have been like the fourth time that they printed it, I think. Yeah. But it's still the same book. First, uh, you know, the, yeah, from the yeah. 70s. <laughs> so you got your five books. Now we're here. We got the Yeah, we got the uh, Lost Tribe of the Sith. Seven. It is. This is five. This is the whole series. The so Lost Tribe of the Sith, Spyro. Is the whole series. They get that whole series with five first appearances. That's issue one, Dark Force. Issue one. Issue two. This is all about the Sith. You know, this is if you you don't you know they talk about getting some Jedi stuff in here, but this is basically the Sith dealing with the Sith. Three. If you like Sith lore like me, four and five. This is Sif dealing with Sif problems. <laughs> <laughs> then I got you <laughs> here. How you Sif dealing with Sif problems. Then we got uh uh this one I was just buying because somebody else sold one, and um, I went and checked out the whole series, so I cheated. Only got one, two first appearances in the Crimson Empire. You never know when it comes to first appearance. I really didn't want to read this. I saw that was two two important first appearances. In issue one out of six so i got that and the reprint here which is a steal this is a steal of a lot it's just the end of the night and i'm trying to get out of here <laughs> yep we all are right so. it's the end of the night and I, basically this is a giveaway i got a sweet book in here that i would not sell tell the way the truth star is the star wars look Mm. Let's see. I'm trying to find a one in one thousand. So I got it. I think I got. It. No, I got the one in one thousand for this or something. I got the San Diego Comic Con for this with the white cover book. It's in there. It's in the boxes. Oh. It ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't coming out. It's like heavy value. So you got the whole set, but I got the one, the one from the San Diego Comic Con. This is white book. They were just passing out the Comic Con. Somebody. Somebody was letting one go on um, on uh, eBay, and I snatched it real quick. I don't see it. Well, let's go back to these again. Is it, oh, we got. Hold on, let's see. I might sell. Are you gonna it, add more? Ah, here we go. Uh -oh. I don't know if anybody knows this character. This is a regular. Yeah, this direct sale. <laughs> this direct sale, Star Wars Old Republic. What is, how you say a name? Satan? Master Sal Satan? When they, hey, hey, Barbarian, you ever see the video? But uh, they took it from the game and the, the uh, Star Wars Master was fighting, uh, oh, what was his name? The young lady was fighting with the with the double-sided double, double -sided, uh, lightsaber. War Grievous? No, no, no I, one, I don't. One. I haven't seen what you're talking about. Did somebody? You know, how, you know how they take the video the game? They take the, they put the video game all the parts together so it'll be like a movie. Or, yeah, or the cutscene. The cutscene. Yeah, they, 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 they were the fighting on Algeron, and they were fighting on Algeron. Okay. You had to see. Oh, you got to do it for like Star Wars. Yeah, I hadn't. I had She's very important, it. and they might do something with her. But this is her first appearance. Have you seen that video game cutscenes where they put all the cutscenes together? 
and she fights with her master at first. Oh, is and it a Ahsoka? Who, huh? It's not Ahsoka, right? Oh, no, no, no. We way back. We way back. We way back. We way back for Ahsoka. It's the old Republic. Um, the old Republic. I wish I could show. Come okay, on. so that triggers overtime, I guess. I don't know who this is. Do you guys? Do you, does anybody Salty know? Pickle. It's, it's Salty and he's a pickle. I don't know. Never heard of them, but you know. I don't either. So I'm not. That book is not for sale. So if you can just jump in there, <laughs> that book I just showed. Yeah, it's not in there in the lot. So. Let me see here. I ain't seen her name right either. Okinawa was in it. 35, Sculpey Pickles in at 40. I don't know. He's saying damn. I need, yeah, yeah, he might, might have need to clarify. <laughs> he might have oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I might look Sculpey Pickle. This wasn't a lot. I Since you up to 40, I might put that book in because I know what to get another one. I guess. Yes, I, I have to put that <laughs> one. I was looking for the character. This wasn't a lot so far. Excuse me. Um, what the hell did I say? Lost Tribes of the Sith Spiral. That's in the last four first appearances in this book. That's issue one. One first appearance in this book. That's issue two. Three. Four. Five. Next up, I only got the one out of six. And this is issue one. Two first appearances, Crimson Empire. And then we got the Star Wars number one that would come in the bag. That would come in the three bags from way back in the day. It's a whip and diamond. We know that because of no barcode. Um, now, yeah, let you me... can't hit yourself up. <laughs> I know, but I don't know if this is like I don't I don't know. I don't... Might be we might be. We might get we might be getting trolled here. Might be. I don't know. I mean, for him to bid a hundred dollars. Is that to bring that book yeah. in? I don't know. He didn't give you a price to bring it in, so. Yeah. No, he's saying all, all what? What do you want? You want all what? Like. Hey, yeah, I'm fine. With, I'm fine with keeping these books now. <laughs> I mean, or did we want to just go back to Okinawa's original bid? He's doing I don't the know. whole. I don't. He's throwing the whole thing off. He's just bidding. He's not saying what he wants. Right, I know. I think I all, all them books. Well, duh. Like, like uh, I don't know. All, all what books? These books right here? Yeah, you're already in the lead at $40 for all them books. So you're, you don't need to build, bid yourself up to 100 Because he didn't to, say that anything else was coming in at 100 So... All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and drop the inline. I think we need to, I don't know. I, I don't know how to do it, but so. Um... <laughs> you must feel generous. I, I'll tell you what, Salty, uh, right there is Roman's Instagram. You message him. And pay him the what are you at? Well, you, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Just... Yeah, and if he if he's it. a troll, if he's a flaker, then just hit up Okinawa Jarhead and yeah, you have to twenty five dollars to start with. But... All right, you say um, once he pays, that, that sounds <laughs> that sounds just about right. I have some turret if you want. Right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm confused. All right, so I guess we'll add. I guess, yes. Yeah. I guess we'll just, you know. Oh, this is the cutscene? Yeah, the cutscene. This is the cutscene. Yeah, sorry about the cracks on the side of the screen. Let's see, uh. Yeah, it's on Alderaan. This, this, uh, what, Prince of Leia was on Alderaan, right? 
the Princess Leia, this is years and years, this is over 100 years before that. I think this is, this is before the afterlife. Yeah, this is before the afterlife, too. This is before the afterlife. It's still a great come out. So when you watch, can you hear that? Let me turn it down. I don't know how long you should play that for, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's where that's where she comes from. Too bad you can't see it, and it's too loud because you shouldn't be able to hear it. You can play stuff, but you can't hear it. Long as you can't hear it. So, this is crazy. Hey, somebody put this together. They do that. What they do that with all the video games, where they take the uh, yeah, they take yeah, take the pieces out and put it together. Yeah, I watched yeah. before yeah. Uh, before I was able to play the second Last of Us game. I've watched all the cutscenes, so now I know how the game goes. <laughs> so I just never played it. Yet. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. This is actually that's this is ahead of where I like to watch it from, but whatever. Whatever it's cutscenes, but they got a dude on that's kind of like Han Solo, with, really with the guns and the westerns with them on the holsters and stuff. All right, guys. All right, so what we gonna do here? We're gonna figure out. He's just gonna. We got. You know, Instagram we got a couple, going the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple things here, and Roman, we trust. Let's do this. I got a giveaway for everybody. We'll do that, and then we're gonna do the race really quick. Um. I'm going to add Okinawa's um, name to that just because I don't know how this is going to play out. So, um, uh, we'll yeah. just deal with it. So, um, all right. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Good luck for everybody that's hanging out in the chat. We appreciate you. In Roman, we trust. Wolverado. Well, World of Water, I already owe you a soda, so that works out great. But here is to add to your other soda. So you got a Spider-Man India. It's actually kind of really cool. So we were talking about Spider-Man earlier. And so this is going to be yours, Wolverado. So it's to go with your other one that I have over here. So congrats, congrats, Wolverado. So very nice. All right. So then let's stop sharing this. And then we're going to go here. To this one, and this is for the buyers, Gibby. So here we go. Here we go. Good luck, you guys. Two and three. Good luck, y'all. Oh, both of them are in there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I threw them both in just because I. Well, it's obvious Jarhead is going to win. You think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you're watching this game, always somebody in the back sprints up to the front. Wolverado is going to win. I'm calling it. Oh. Here it comes. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Yep. Wow, that, that was yep. so that close. Was well, that makes it easy, Wolverado. That I'll just was add this like to a your box. <laughs> wow. Congrats, Wolverado. Look at that. Yeah. Just add nice. this to your box. Have you ever read that story, the Iceman story? I have not. It's very interesting. We'll I, do, I do love the Mike Zach John Beatty art, though. On the cover, yeah, because they're 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 honestly one of the most underrated tandems, in my opinion. Oh God, yeah, the Punisher stuff, all the Captain America stuff they did. Oh, and Secret Wars and, and yeah, Raven's Last Hunt, like my gosh, so all much right. great let's, stuff they did together. Let's go around that horn. Let's say our goodbyes. Let's get out of here. What you got? Okay, so listen up. This is what's gonna happen. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and I do a claim sale on Instagram every single Wednesday for the last three years. It's 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I do posts on my Instagram, which isn't here anymore, but it's Barbarian Kung Fu sells stuff. So go check it out. I sell stuff way cheap there, and I put up hundreds of books for sale every week. On Monday this week is the war claim sale that I do on YouTube on my channel, where... Every book starts at a dollar, and there's 
uh, I don't even know what is was. Uh, they're all lettered. Uh, there's 16. That's it. There's 16 books. We go through them one at a time. I tell you what the book is and the grades on some of them. Most of them are all near mint. But anyway, and if you see something you want and someone already took it, you can fight them for it. And uh, we do trivia, which is free. And I do giveaways with the trivia. And it's really fun. If nothing else, you can just come and hang out and bust my balls for not being a very good uh, host. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to uh, get on uh, another couple shows this week. I'm off this week. I'm on vacation. So I have the whole weekend free where normally I work. So come join me. I, I, I put it out there. I messaged Helvetica about selling Friday. All right. And back. So I don't know. I'll make it work. I, I'm in. I'm there. All right. Sounds good. And I'm having okay. a yard sale at my house this weekend. If anybody wants to come buy stuff, I have tons of cool stuff. That I'm if you're in Georgia. At my yard sale. Yeah. If you live in the Atlanta area, just DM me and I'll give you my yeah, address. Just DM me. It's the biggest house in the state. He's got yeah, 50 right. acres. That's yeah. him. We're right by. You guys <laughs> stuff everywhere. Yeah. I have yeah. a backhoe and I have a bobcat. I have four Porsches, one yeah. for each foot. <laughs> me and my wife, you know, we both have what we need. Oh my God. Uh, other than that, thanks for uh, having me. Thanks for everybody in the chat coming and hanging out. And we'll see you next week. All right. Thanks, Bye. Barbara. Appreciate you. Um, the return was great. I was so happy to be back. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Um, look forward to the next time. I'm not sure. It it may be, you know, in the whale show. Oh, probably. Who knows? Me. You know, who knows? But uh, I will be back soon and more often. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And uh, we'll see you next time. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate you. Looking forward to the next time that you come out. Hang out yes. with us on Tuesdays. So I can't wait. For sure. Uh, all right, in Roman we trust. Oh, he's dancing around. He's still watching something. Oh my god. No god no 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 <laughs> That's that night like just it was stop. <laughs> we need more cowbell. <laughs> um so I'm just go uh thank you everybody for coming out. We'll figure everything on the IG that needs to be figured out. Anybody needs to talk to me. Sorry, I've been missing, but uh, during the week, I only, I only pay attention to IG sometimes on Tuesday and Wednesday, and, and after that, until <laughs> next Tuesday, I see you. But I try to get <laughs> everybody's wishing to get out this week. Um, I I had nobody, but uh, what's the name? Uh, Nate, Barbarian, and we got to figure out this last lot. Yeah, yeah. We got to figure out this last lot. So other than that, uh. That's it. Hey, you know, I got, oh, I got a, I don't know how to say his name. He got the, the letters and stuff. I call him Mr. Mitzoplex. Oh, <laughs> so I call him. And I got yeah, his, Mitzoplex. I got his books back here. I think, hopefully he sent me, I didn't check. He didn't, hopefully he sent me a uh, shipping info so I get his box out of here. This one, the J, JXY? Yeah. 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 I call him Mr. I call him Mr. Mitzoplex because, you know, I don't, what you call, what you go, you can't even come up with a nickname for that, whatever that is. Whatever <laughs> <laughs> that I is, you know. So. I Mr. Call yeah, no I, Mr. Mr. So, Mr. Mitchell Black. So, there you go. All right, man. Yeah, that's it. And right. he has he has sent his shipping information. His box will be going out tomorrow. Mitchell Black. No, that's Nathan. <laughs> that's Nathan. <laughs> All right. Nathan All right. He'll send it. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yep. So, uh, y'all, y'all get some sleep. Cause I'm trying to. All right. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for um, another wonderful, successful Tuesday. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.